it's Flea! Hi! <laughs> hey, 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 how are you guys doing? Hi! Hello! Wait, you you look a bit funny. Are you okay? Uh. Mm. Lucky charms! I think you have something in your eye. You look a bit. Are you okay? Ah. Uh, okay, I think I know what it is. Alright. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay, Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms. You're gonna have to trust me. Alright. You see this? You see this? I know you probably can't really tell what it is, but I'm gonna need you. I am gonna need you to eat it. Okay? It's very important. Alright? So just just open up. Just open up, okay? Just say just say ah ah come on, come on, come on, lucky charms, don't be bratty. Okay? Stop, don't be brats. Come on, just just say ah ah Am I gonna have to force feed it to you? Am I gonna have to shove it down your throat? Come on. Lucky charms. Eat. 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 We're not continuing the stream until you eat this. Did you take a bite? Did you take... Okay, good. Good. Amazing. Perfect. All right. Relax. It's just a cucumber, okay? <laughs> Relax. It's a pickled cucumber. You're fine. Don't worry about it. All right. Do you feel better? Do you feel better? You look like you feel better. <laughs> That's way better. See? Okay. You're, you're getting way better. Yeah, your eye no longer looks weird. All right. Well, it still looks a bit red, but that's, you know, it's gonna fix itself with time. You might still be a little bit oozy for the rest of the day, but... It should get better. Get yes. away from me. Fui you scary. Fui you scary. Fui you scary. Fui you scary. Diari. Diari. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's okay. You're fine. There's nothing to be scared of. Halloween is over. I, I don't know, my, my brain is a little bit hazy still, I don't know 100% everything that happened, but we're okay, we're here, and we're fine. <laughs> Alright, I think, oh, frick, oh, uh, sorry, I just accidentally broke the fabric of existence for a second there, let me, okay, there. Unless you want to keep eating it, do you want to keep eating the cucumber, come on, keep eating it, it's gonna help you feel better, I promise. <laughs> Anyways, welcome everybody to stream! Hello! If you're wondering, Fuyo, why are you dressed up still? It's because I really, really like this outfit! <laughs> That's why! And so, I also felt that it kind of fitted the atmosphere of the game that we're playing today, so I kept it. Ah! Uh, hi Fuyo, seeing as you are the way you are, I wonder, are you considering playing the current funny cannibalism incest visual novel game? Maybe, perhaps, but I I, I mean, I, I want to play it for the sheer fact that I've seen so much about it. But I haven't gotten around to do it yet because I really, 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 really want to play the game that we're going to play today. Which we'll get on with in a second. Okay, we'll get on with in a second. Let me just, let me just say hi to you guys because God... I feel like we haven't talked in so long. I feel like... Like, I really, really want to play the game. But at the same time, I really, really want to do a Zatsu. And I wanted to do the same... The two things at the same time today. And so, I am having kind of a... A brain jumble moment where I want to do both. <laughs> mm, the Intus game is way too mainstream now. I gotta wait until it gets obscure again. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I gotta wait until it has cooled down so that... When when it becomes like a a memory memory hold game, I can play it and revive it. <laughs> kind of like kind of like how when PewDiePie started playing Minecraft again after you know it kind of stopped being so much talked about. <laughs> I will revive the incest game. So just you wait. <laughs> just you wait. <laughs> so um, as I was saying, I, I really really remember that I wanted to stream yesterday. In fact. I, I think I was really dead set on having a date yesterday with you guys, but 
My mom, uh, she, first of all, she woke up, she came to say hi, and then she looked at me, and she just kind of freaked out, and then we went to my grandma's, and <laughs> both of them kind of started making vegetable dishes and everything, and then they just started force feeding them to me until, I don't know, mine is a bit hazy, but after a while I remember... I remember coming back to my senses and being like, oh, what the frick happened? <laughs> what the frick happened? Why, why, why are you guys doing this? Why, why are you doing? Um, so apparently I was infected with a weird parasite for the past couple of days. And my, my, my grandma and my mom knew about it. Uh, so the moment they saw it, they kind of recognized it. I guess it's something that's kind of common from leprechauns. I don't know. <laughs> And so they they use their home remedies and they just fix it. Apparently, if you if you eat vegetables, the parasite just kind of returns and turns into your eye. It's it's weird. Like it kind of dies, but in the process of dying it becomes a proper like physical eye. So my eyes are back. So that's nice. <laughs> um so yeah, that, you, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. I saw that you guys were also infected, but you'll be okay. Don't worry about it. You'll be okay. You already ate the cucumber and it's a massive cucumber. So it's more than enough. <laughs> so carrots are good for your eyes. The more you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I recommend you guys eat some carrots too. You know, if you're still feeling a little bit hazy, they're also pretty good. And yeah, yeah. Everything is well when it ends well. Ah... <laughs> uh, why did you have that cucumber? I, I, I've been munching on it. <laughs> I've been munching on that cucumber. You know? It helps with the circulation. Or something like that. <laughs> I've been eating the cucumber because my own eyes are still recovering. Okay? Come on. <laughs> Can we still have that date though since we didn't go yesterday? I... I... Okay, listen. I, I said some things. I... During the past couple of days, I know I said some things and I, uh... I may have gone a little bit overboard and I am sorry, I wasn't quite myself. Uh, and... So, I... I... I, I am quite embarrassed of things I said and... I, um... Uh... So you didn't mean them? It's... It's not like that, it's just... Uh, I... Anyway, anyway, let's let's move topic. Let's move topic, okay? It's time to move topic. <laughs> Everybody, we've got a game to play today. We've got to play Little Goody Two Shoes. Oh my god, it feels so weird to say this name. <laughs> I've been waiting for this game for years, years, and I don't want to delay it anymore. I I really really wanted to talk to you guys a little bit and do Zatsu before the stream, but also I also I'm also shaking in my boots because I I've been. So excited for this game for years. It's so pretty. It's so cool. It's from the same creators of Pocket Mirror. Uh, to those who don't know what Pocket Mirror is, it's an RPG Maker horror game, which is also very, very pretty. Um, and uh, I just, I just really liked it, and I'm really looking forward to this. I think this one is supposed to be a prequel to Pocket Mirror in a way, kind of like a spiritual prequel, something like that. It, it's yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, why are you guys doing the funny crying face? What did I, what did I say? <laughs> what did I, Stop crying! Lucky Charles, why are you crying while... Why are you crying while eating a cucumber? Stop crying while eating a cucumber. <laughs> you look really pretty today. Thank you, thank you. Um, it's my Halloween outfit. I felt like it kind of fitted uh, the atmosphere of the game we're playing today. Mostly because the game has a... 90s, 80s, 90s? Atmosphere, like feel... Graphics style. Um... And I know pirate has nothing to do with that, but I, don't judge me. I thought it was fitting. Ah, <laughs> uh, Fuyo, you want to talk about bubbles? That <laughs> you told her about. Oi, okay, listen here. Um, yeah, she told us that. You oh my god, she didn't. She did. Why would she mention it? Why would she mention that? <laughs> now explain how you knew about it. Explain yourself. Let's just say... Um... Uh... 
I saw a work in progress of it. Or I knew that a work in progress of it was happening. I didn't commission it! <laughs> if I was going to commission, I would commission one with me and her, not not her and Kai. But listen! <laughs> Did I watch the animation on stream with the audio playing? <laughs> Um, let's just say I um I was aware that there was a work in progress. And uh then when it came out, I just knew about it. <laughs> um and uh and since I saw it was Momo, it was so well animated and cute. I, I sent it to her because I know she likes that sort of thing, and so I sent it to her and I was like, hey, look at this. <laughs> She's like, oh wow, okay. <laughs> but uh yeah, yeah, I... Yeah. You know you know what Momo told me? Momo told me, I hope they make one of you and I. <laughs> and I just kind of... I just kind of flustered myself to death. Um... So, yeah. But I don't think I provide voice acting enough for that sort of thing. I'm not very... I don't think the voices... The noises and sounds I make are very... Yeah, bye. <laughs> At least I don't think so. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a really nice animation. It looks really cute. So cute. The part... I, okay, listen. It just it just got me the moment that... Um, Momo started munching on the chicken nuggets. I was like, oh, frick, that's cute. <laughs> frick, that's cute. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Mm. But right, but guys, listen. I don't think you understand. We're here to play a game. Who knows if the developers of the game are watching the stream? I don't want them to hop into the stream and hear me talk about... This. <laughs> I don't want them to come in expecting a gameplay of their game and somebody to gush about their game and then just hear me talking about... unsavory subjects of uh, a friend of mine. <laughs> Wait, try making some yellow- No! No! I don't no! No! <laughs> you may get the animations in the future. Never, I'm not gonna. I, no! I can't. No! I no 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 no. First of all, I can't. I can't do it on command. It's embarrassing. I can't. <laughs> you guys can't convince me. I just can't. It doesn't come out. It doesn't. It just doesn't. Then do it off command. <coughs> uh, 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 excuse me. How? How am I gonna do that? No. No. <laughs> no. I. I. I am. I'm a strong, independent leprechaun, and I am. Uh, like I. I have self-preservation, and I am not gonna do it. No. <laughs> no. Stop. Jeez. <laughs> Mom, look at terms of being perverts. Help me. Help me. I don't know what to say. <laughs> guys, 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 guys. The game. <laughs> the game. Guys, please, I tagged I tagged the developers. What if they're watching the stream right now? Uh, I hope not. Because I think I'll be especially embarrassed because there are people that I really, really admire. <laughs> Chat reflects streaming on that and... <clears throat> Excuse me. No, it... No, it doesn't. I'm a proper... A proper lady. <laughs> I'm a proper lady. So, alright, guys. Without further ado, I, I will... I have a lot of stuff to talk about Including, you know, the three covers that we released uh, Because Halloween was packed So let me just brush over it really, really, really quickly I'm just gonna kind of touch upon it really, really fast I know there might be some of you guys that have a couple of questions uh, But I think I'll save it for like member talk or Zatsu that I will do Instead of just kind of throwing it in here but uh, I just, I just wanna, I just wanna very quickly brush over it and say that I'm really, 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 really proud and really, really happy of how everything came out, and uh, I'm glad that you guys enjoyed it too. Uh, finally, you guys got to see the stuff that I prepared for for Halloween. So we had like three really cool streams, and then we had 
three really cool covers. One of them is on my channel. It's the Happy Halloween cover. The other one is on Rito's channel, and it's uh, a ghostly... It's the Ghost Do It. We uh, made our own version of the Ghostly Do It, um, which is a really cute song, short song, that has, like, two ghosties, and so we just kind of acapella it. Rito's freaking cracked! Rito's freaking absolutely cracked! She just... Made this made magic. She just did magic. She made it sound good. <laughs> I can show you guys uh, like the uh, raw version in a member stream or in a in a, in a different Zatsu stream. Um, but that was that was insane. And then then we did we did the cover with Yuko and it was really pretty uh, and, and really nice. I really like how the sound turned out in all of the covers. And then we did the Alice of Human Sacrifice. So um. <clears throat> I kind of, I've been, you guys now know why I've been, <laughs> why I was like that during uh, October, I was just, oh god, I would have finished everything on time. Um, and even then, the, co the cover with Rito was a little bit late, we were working very, very late, we were finishing it up. <clears throat> so, uh, but I'm glad that we, we managed to finish it. We posted it at a time that probably was still Halloween somewhere in the world. It was definitely no longer Halloween for us. <laughs> but I'm sure it was Halloween somewhere in the world. Or at least it's like a cute, a cute soft song to wrap up things in a comfy way. Mm. So yeah, it was all it was all really nice and I'm glad that you guys enjoyed it. I think it was completely worth it to spend so much time and effort into it. It was like 4 a.m. here. I remember I was done with it, it was like 7 a.m. for me. And if it was 7 a.m. for me, it was 8 a.m. for, for uh, Rito. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> we were super spoiled. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> oh yeah, and I—I I guess you guys haven't seen um, this yet, but the outfit that I'm currently wearing, right, the Halloween outfit. Um, I dressed up as a, as a pirate, right? It's really cute. I don't think you guys have seen it yet without the without the jacket, have you? <laughs> there, without the jacket. <laughs> yeah, cute. It's cute without the jacket too. <laughs> Uh, sorry. So yeah. <laughs> Alright, anyway, look at Charles, look at Charles, look at Charles, look at Charles, look at Charles. Um as much as I wanna Zatsu and talk my ass off, my need to play this game is transcending the laws of leprechaun hood, okay? It's <sighs> I can't I can't I can't keep it in anymore. Pirate? Yes, I'm just missing the hat. I, I put the I put the hat away. <coughs> So yeah, all right. Let's let's go ahead and uh, let's let's get started with the game, okay? Let's, let's because I guarantee you, you're gonna enjoy it. You know why? You know why? Because there is cute girls, and uh, I've heard that you can romance said cute girls, and then you you mix that with beautifully crafted graphics, '90s or '80s or old anime aesthetic. And beautifully drawn backgrounds, hand drawn backgrounds, and holy crap, I am having an orgasm right now. <coughs> okay. Um. So yeah, it's it's really nice. We're gonna go play it right now. All right. So uh, it, with with all of the topics out of the way, <laughs> let's go and uh, let's let's play the game that I have been waiting to play for years. So yeah. <coughs> Let the coins fall, baby. God, I haven't said this in so long. <laughs> All right, here we are, here we are. Oh yeah, also I should probably mention, chat box, this thing, it's new. You probably saw it in the starting scene, but uh, uh, it was it was made by the Lucky Charms. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, let me just give uh, a quick, very, very big thank you to uh, to Framey, Sneeze, Nico, and Matt for uh, making it. I really, 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 really appreciate it. Not only that, but somebody recently made a new schedule template for me. Um, it was Faya Kun. Faya Kun made the new te new schedule template, and I, I really, really appreciate it. You guys are awesome, and I couldn't thank you more. Ah, oh, I really appreciate you guys. Why would you do it? You don't have. You don't have to. I'm gonna put it up here. I'm gonna put it up here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna lower the opacity because it's a beautiful game, and I, I don't wanna obscure it too much. 
I actually I can't actually believe I'm playing this game. It's been so long. <laughs> eh. All right. Let me also get some uh, atmospheric light. All right. So uh. Ta -ta 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 -ta. My immersion. Or is it little goody two shoes? There you go. You see the immersion? I'm so immersed right now. <laughs> You're gonna get us too excited. That's because I'm excited! Alright? I'm so excited for this game. You guys have no idea. <laughs> Alright. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's <coughs> go. Wait, what is this thing down here? Oh, it's the cucumber. Have you guys taken more bites out of the cucumber? Keep eating the cucumber. Eat the cucumber! Eat it! Eat it! Eat it! Om nom 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 nom. Alright. There. Cucumber. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead. So, um... It's asking me for a controller profile. Oh, should I use a controller? Maybe I should. Maybe I should use a controller. Is it also a controller I use? Ooh. Where is my controller? Hold on. Uh, no, actually, I want to use the mouse and keyboard. It's very simple. It's just like arrow keys and... Okay, hold on. Let me just close my window because it's getting very dark. Eesh. We're getting around that time of the year where it starts getting dark at like 5, 5 p.m. It's... Ugh, I hate it. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay. Uh, So, modern classic. Oh, all right. The difference is the Blu-ray SD. Uh, okay, no. You know what? I want to go for the little arrow keys in the Z because I'm used to RPG Maker controls. <laughs> yes, keep it. Keep it, keep it. All right, can you hear it? Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Can you hear it? It's pitch black in here and I'm still working. It sucks, right? Choose voice language. English or Japanese? Oh, okay, this is a hard choice. <laughs> Oh, uh, ah, uh, frick, I, 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 I want to see Japanese, but I, I, Nihongo, Nihongo being a weave or English. Uh, you guys want to go for J JP? Okay, all right. All right, should I do a pool? <clears throat> no, I see everybody choosing JP. I, th I think, I think it's going to be a very, very, uh, <laughs> obvious win for JP. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to leave it in JP. This game is new, it came out on Halloween. Tell me this was made by some dude in his mom's basement. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a, it's a studio. <laughs> Little goody two shoes. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. So yeah. 
let's let's go ahead. I I am so happy. This is so beautiful. I am having, I am having a moment of just teardrop. Damn, a studio in a basement. <laughs> I can say though that um, uh, quite a few of the people involved in this game are Portuguese. Uh, so you know, really really inspiring. Let's go ahead and uh, press any button. Little grid two shoes. Little grid two two shoes. Alright, let's see. Uh, is the audio okay for everybody? Should I increase it, decrease it a little bit? Mm, I think maybe this is fine, right? It's fine. Okay, perfect. New game. I said, I said new. Okay, freak. New game. time, in the heart of a remote valley, an elderly woman ventured deep into the woods in search for mushrooms. When all of a sudden, she heard a loud cry in the distance. My goodness! It's a baby! Cradled inside a rope basket was a cheerful baby girl. Not, my dear. I'll name you Elise. And so Holly and Elise spent their days together in the village of Keefburg. As both grew closer, so did their love love for one another. Look, Granny, look! <laughs> well done, Elise. <laughs> Not all bliss lasts forever, and as time went by. <laughs> so did Holly's. I'll take care of you. I'll do whatever it takes, Cranny. Don't cry, my love. You've always said you wanted it. I'm sure you'll cherish it. <laughs> Cranny. I love you, Elise. Thank you for granting my only wish. I'm not crying, you guys are crying. It's not me, it's you. I'm not crying, you guys are crying. <clears throat> for goodness sake, there goes my last match. <sighs> so tired of this place. Wash my sheets, Elise. Sweep my floors, Elise. Elise, Elise, Elise. <laughs> Ugh, I'll show them. <laughs> I'd make them scrub my pots and pans, my shoes even. Have them wipe down all my windows. Every last one. Clean out my hearths and fetch me, fetch me some water. <laughs> Better yet, I'd have them running around calling me Miss Elise all day. Oh, if only I were rich. I don't know what that word means, shut up. <laughs> all the steak I could ever want, all the shiny dresses. One for each day of the week, with shoes and jewels to match. And maids, all the maids I could ever want. Oh, if only... Well, one can dream. 
It's pronounced hearth. It means fireplace. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. I'll probably need you guys' help because there's probably a lot of fancy words like that. Elise! Uh, oh, for goodness sake! Uh, She's just like, full of freaking brat. She is a brat. On your way home, lass. What are you doing wandering about the dark, Elise? You ought to know it's dangerous out here. I'm not wandering about, Mr. Ludwig. I've been working late, if you'd so kindly believe. You know better than to put yourself in danger, Elise. Huh. If anyone's putting me in danger, it's you. I'd be home already had you not stopped me for an earful. Come now, Elise. We've got a good reason to worry. All this vigilance, for what? What am I to be afraid of, the witch? What's your words, Elise? You're not to question such matters. What do you say we walk you home? I believe I'll be just fine on my own, Mr. Henrik. No more detours, Elise. It's for your own good. Plus, I come across the witch, I know. Let us hope you don't come to regret your words, lass. I can stand these folks. All right, we can run. We can interact with stuff. Cute, cute. <laughs> My heart. All right. What is? Okay, new objective. Find your way home. Shwa. This thing's so faded. I can't even read it. Also, I hope the volume is okay and not just not too loud. Maybe I should decrease it just a teeny tiny bit. Just a teeny tiny bit. Like that. This thing's so faded I can't even read it. Left, right, Primaldorf, Kiefberg Peaks. Alrighty. I wonder how much with how many things we can interact with. Also, I'm pretty sure this game has um, a lot of like different endings. Or at least different routes. Um, for for the record, before we get started, I am only gonna play this game once on stream, most likely. It depends on how much it takes to like get different endings. If like there's endings that I could get easily, I might. But otherwise, I'm gonna play it once, and then I urge you guys to play it by yourself and do your own choices and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not like you know, blasphemous where we can just. All right, let's go ahead. Which, which one did it say? What's the word? All right, left. What if I just want to explore? I want. I want to go. I want to go places. I'd best head on home before it gets too late. I suppose. I suppose. I guess she's gonna say the same for here. I'd best head on home before it gets too late. Okay. Cute castle in the distance. Today is the seas day in Latin America if you want an excuse to keep the spooky vibe. <laughs> nice. But we don't need an excuse to keep the spooky vibe. I'm such a cute girl just walking about in the forest, in the woods. Hopping on pebbles. Cause gorgeous. Orgasm. <laughs> and yes, Elise is a brat. Also, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure she's a MILF. <laughs> uh, not right now, but uh, I'm pretty sure she is the mom of the protagonist of the second game. Oh, well, pocket mirror. Pine tree this, pine tree that. Everything's about pine trees around here. Right, Keithberg viewpoint. Left, Keithberg peak. I go places. Okay, not these places though. Second game? I, I called it second game, but I guess it's the first game. Ooh, shiny. Shiny. Let him get. 
creeps. It's time to make one, baby. Sake. It's impossible to keep this lantern lit in this wind. Guess I'll be finding my way home in the dark, I suppose. I suppose. Herb. Save often. Make sure you use up all your save slots, slots to avoid too much backtracking. Okay. Burp. Burp. This is a really cute, look at that, is this a slot machine? No, it's a music box? What is it supposed to be? Save it. Okay, it's a music box. Any secrets? 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 I'm gonna make you guys annoyed with trying to look for secrets. Alright, let's go home. Here, I ought to find my matches. Tinderbox. At least I didn't get into this trunk. Despite its visibly worn appearance, the old trunk keeps its contents safe and secure. We got robbed! Oh no! Oh no! Look at the footsteps, oh my god, look at that. Oh my god. I... You guys don't understand how inspired this game makes me. <laughs> hi, Fuyu. Um... Hi, Fuyu! Hi, Orvin! Hi! Uh, I gotta find my Tinder box. Okay, so this is where... It's too dark to tell what happened here. What is that effect? A broom. Oh, there is a menu. Oh, we have a health bar? Holy crap. Items. Food items. Key items. Okay. Uh, upstairs? Wait, where would the tinder boxes be? Oh, thank goodness they didn't touch Granny's spinning wheel. What is that effect? Okay, tinder boxes, tinder boxes, tinder box. Oh, 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 god! Ah! What is that? 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 What is What was I thinking leaving it here? Ah, there it is, tinderbox. I have to light the fire now. Okay, control. Preserve your matches. Light your matches using matches, be careful not to waste them. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, this is a bedroom. Ten endings! Alright, there's our answer. There is our answer. I really ought to go through all these trunks sometime, I suppose. Small wooden trunk filled with various knickknacks. I'm trying to... What do... What can I interact with? Tell me. Game. Tell me where. Ah. Whoever broke into my home must be out here somewhere. Out there somewhere. How am I to sleep like this? Shuddering in the wind, the glass panes tremble in their wooden frames. This thing's still not working, is it? I ought to have a word with Mr. Mr. Wilhelm sometime soon, I suppose. Oxen's grateful... Great... Bleh, great dutifully through time, struggling to turn with each passing second. Such fancy words, holy. It's been a long time since I've gone into Granny Hall's room. Holly. 
Not that there's anything to see there, anyhow. Alright, light it. That witch the townsfolk have been going on about. No. Keep it together. It was definitely a burglar. That said, I'm not going anywhere without my broom. We gotta, we gotta hit any suspecting person. Find the burglar? <laughs> We're gonna hunt his ass! We're gonna hunt his ass! Where is he? You guys said I missed something in the tree? I suppose I ought to chop some more wood soon. Also, with how much she says, I suppose, it reminds me of uh, Beatrice from ReZero. Just when I've gotten rid of all these pesky splinters and blisters, covered in aged scars, the tree trunk sits bare, its dry surf surface exposed to the elements. Is it Liz with a shotgun? Yeah, it's a, it's a broom. <laughs> Wait, what is... Was that here before? Oh, okay, it's just the same thing. Save often. I save. I can see that now, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. It's no use going in a pantry, is it? There's nothing to eat in this house. I suppose uh, the old trunk keeps us in. Who in the Lord's name got into my house? Can I equip the broom somehow? Wait, normal items. Oh, food items, key items. Tinderbox broom. Okay, now, worn out and brittle, the broom's ragged handle is ri riddled with crevices. An emerald brooch given to Elise by her grandmother on her deathbed. An old rusted lantern covered with grime. It's natural that our color now faded into rusty hues. Also, look at the friggin' menu! There's a little E there for Elise. That's so cute. The attention to detail. I am in love. Alright, burglar! Where the frick are you? I'm gonna whoop your ass with my broom. Are you hiding in here? How long has it been since I last used this thing, I wonder? Stringy cobwebs and dust cling to the old oven's wooden doors as though sealing them. Blood for the blood god! Blood for the Elise! Secret? 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 There's a way here. Oh no, I'm just an unsuspecting girl in a 90s styled game. I hope no tentacles come and get me. Ooh -woo. Oh wow. That's the village? Huh? The witch. <laughs> there you are, you! Shameless thief! Give me back all you took! Right? No! Holy crap, she really is up for blood! Wait, please! Please forgive me! <laughs> Explain yourself, you wrench! Wrench! What are you doing in my house? No, stop! Stop! This is way too cute! Wait, please don't hit me! Oh, she's so cute! Oh, my heart! Stop, Elise! Stop! I was just hiding! There were these men and I... I want to ask you a second time! Thief! Give me back everything you took right now! I didn't take anything! <laughs> she's gonna get a concussion from this. I was just scared. Please, I beg of you. <laughs> Show me your hands. Uh, uh, I didn't take anything, ma'am. <laughs> now show me your pockets and make it quick. I keep telling you.
you, I didn't steal anything. This is all I have, I swear. Coins and weeds? She saw me. Coins and weeds in her pockets, yes, very much. What are you doing up here in the mountains? I'm a traveler, man. Turn around! So you're a traveler. Are you all by yourself? Hi! Yes, I'm traveling alone. I hoped I could res rest for the night in this village, but... I saw some people walking in the woods. It frightened me, so I ran to find some place to hide. Be that as it may, you're still... <laughs> we must not fall for the temptations of the women in this game. We were made fools of by the seduction on Halloween. Shush, guys! Let yourself be seduced. We can actually seduce them back. Why keep weeds in your pocket? I wouldn't call them weeds, they're more like clovers, but... Uh, oh, please forgive me, ma'am. I didn't mean to make such a mess. Would you stop calling me that? For goodness sake. Alright, well... I might let you go. If you can prove your innocence, that is. I don't know what else I can do, man. Well, you can start by cleaning up this mess. It's in an end for you. Well, well... So what? <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? Not to your heart's content. And then, you can... Man... Yes? Yes! That's it! A maid! Yeah. Listen carefully now. Oh my god, we're gonna turn her into our maid? <laughs> First, you'll be tidying up the mess you've made. In fact, you can clean up the whole house from top to bottom. We're already taking advantage of her! That'll teach you not to go storming into strangers' homes. I... Ma'am... Complaining already, are you? Cause like gatekeep girl boss! <laughs> Wouldn't you agree this is the least you can do? Hi. Uh, of course! I'll gladly do it, ma'am! <laughs> Good! <laughs> and in exchange, I suppose you can stay here. But no more thieving! <laughs> Not a thief, ma'am! Huh. I'll be the judge of that. Thank you very much. Anyhow, you work for me and I'll give you a place to say. Fair enough. Wouldn't you say? Mm. It does sound fair, ma'am. And it is very kind of you, but... Mm. I am not a thief. Mm. Fine, you're not a thief. Now, would you stop calling me ma'am? Do I look like an old hag to you? Uh, you don't... I apologize. Yeah. My name is Elise. And you'd best remember it. Yes. I'm so sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> Selenic Wanderer. Rosen Marine. Rosen Marine? Rosen Marine. My name is Rosen Marine. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Elise. For goodness sake, just Elise is fine. Come now, you have a lot of work to do. Hi! Yes, of course! Discover the thief inside the granary. I got an, uh, an achievement. She's cute. Can I go back? Can I talk to her? Can I talk to her? Can I talk to him? Where, where is she? Wait, where did she go? Fuyu is 100% feeling. <laughs> I am not gonna confirm nor deny the fact. She's gone. Where did she go? Where'd she go? She's gone. You collected her? I collected her? No, I didn't. She's not in my inventory, is she? Am I holding her? I'm not, see? There's no there's no Rosen Marine in my inventory. Oh, maybe she went to clean the house. Oh my god, the weeds move! 
Oh my god, the weeds move! Oh my god, the grass moves! Ah! The grass moves! Okay, alright. Shush! If we don't relax, it's just... There's just grass physics. Does every grass have physics? Oh my god, every grass has physics. Oh my god. You see, this is the things that impress me. It's a grass physics. <laughs> oh man. What else is over here? Also, she kind of looks like a witch. And the fact that the name was color coded earlier when the guys mentioned it kind of makes me think that she might be the witch. This isn't the time to be watering the garden, is it? Weathered by time, the well's wooden structure stands frayed, frayed and worn. Incredibly based indeed. Oh, there she is. Those footsteps look way too big to be hers. Look at those dainty, teeny, tiny feet. Those are those, those they don't look like her feet. <laughs> How could you even do all of this? Look at all my floor. Look at my floors. Uh, oh, man. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, even Granny's plates shattered to pieces. What are you? A wild boar? <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't break my windows and tear down the walls. All right, well, you know what you did. Anyway, take this. Here, take this. Illustrations are so cute. <laughs> Make certain you get into every nook and cranny, you hear? Hmm. Yes, ma'am. While you're at it, you can sweep the chimney and clean out the fireplace too. Oh, and wipe that stain off my wall and wash all my windows. Eh? I want this place sparkling by the time I wake up tomorrow. Understood? Of course, ma'am. And I told you to quit calling me that. I'm sorry. Come now, let me show you to the wells in the back. Well out in the back. Oh, I can do it myself, Elise. Anything to make up for what I've done. Look here, lassie. I have no good reason to trust you. I didn't mean to. Every single corner of this house is to be absolutely spotless by sunrise. God, she's... <laughs> Lisa's well, scary. I like her. Dare to cross me even once and I'll be having a word with the townsfolk. Are we clear? Yes, Elise. I'm sorry, I'll... I'll do my best. Be careful not to wake me either. I have Sunday Mass to attend tomorrow. I'll keep quiet. Good night, Elise. Elise, you heartless. <laughs> You're heartless, look how cute she is. How can you yell at that cute face, Elise? Elise. <laughs> what the frick? Why are you like this? Ah, dude. <laughs> oh, time. It shows the time when you're not moving. Fuyo playing is her game character. I'm not this much of a girl boss. I mean, I wish I was. <laughs> Beach and the witch. <laughs> They're cute. They're cute. Look at them. Look at them. Why are they cute? Cute, 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 cute. She's gotta prove she's the alpha. Yeah, and she is, she seems to be religious, or at least she seems to be a very... This seems to be a very religious town, I guess. Uh, now you've done it, Elise. There was hardly a need to be that harsh, but still... Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, she's not completely heartless. What if she's dangerous or mm. worse even? What if she's the witch the townsfolk have been talking about? Oh, what will Granny Holly do, I wonder? She didn't raise me to be like this. I even threatened to tell on her too. Uh. What's done is done, I suppose. 
I'll make sense of it tomorrow. It's best to go to bed. Yeah. Call her coded name? Nah, I can't be her. <laughs> Sunday! Sunday? Sontag? Um, it's morning already? Is that... is that German? Uh, can't be late for Sunday Mass or Father Hans as well. Good grief, what was I thinking? She's probably taken everything I own by now! Yeah, yeah, is it, is it hitting, you know? Managing stamina, you will lose one for each time period passes by. That's six breads a day? Holy crap, we eat a bunch. That's a lot of bread. So it is German, okay. Manage your normal food and key items through the item menu. You can consume and use items through the item menu as well. Gotcha. We're gonna get downstairs and the uh, Rosen Marine has probably made us breakfast, you know, all cutesy and stuff, and we're gonna feel so bad. <laughs> Small wooden trunk filled with various knickknacks. No food? <laughs> Alright. That's how we can keep track of the endings. I know I'm gonna get to the ending of this game. I'm gonna go like, okay, guys, you know what? I take it back what I said at the beginning of the stream. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be playing the other endings. <laughs> All right. Look at that! Oh, the music. Oh, oh this is this is so cute. Oh, my heart. It's been a long time since I've gotten... Okay, it's the same dialogue. Also, is that a fox and a... A deer? Oh! A horse? A unicorn! Did it always look like this? Probably not. I should have checked it before I got attacked or something. Right? A Lynn Narwhal. That's based on an actual painting. Oh my god, it's squeaky queen. Look at it, squeaky queen. Oh. Or maybe not. Hmm. It doesn't seem like she took or broke anything, but... Hey! No, Rosemarine! Oh, Rosemarine. What was her name? I can't believe she tied it up and left just like that. I didn't even give her anything to eat last night. The poor thing. Uh, now, where could she have gotten to? Oh, it's Rose and Marine. Okay, I'm not going crazy. A small wooden trunk filled with various knickknacks. Okay. Uh, can we go into the pantry? So let's go into the pantry. Does this time just pass automatically or? I miss the classic RPG Maker 4 game, so this is a welcome surprise. I mean, given the fact that this was made by the same creators of Pocket Mirror, you know, it's very... It's a very nice advancement. <laughs> save, 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 save. Oh wait, there's mail? Oh wait, there's... Is that... Wait, okay, hold up, hold up. I see like three things that are calling my attention right now. First, save. Also, there's a bird I just saw, it's so cute. Uh, second, there's eyes in the tree? Is that eyes? Is that Rosenmarine? Are you hiding in there? What are you doing? What are you doing, girl? Get out of there! You see that? <laughs> They're just like... Eye emoji. <laughs> it's just the eye emoji. Would you like to revisit the game's tutorials? I know I'm good. All right, let's look. No, this was pro this was not making made in RPG Maker. I'd best go look for her before I leave for Sunday Mass. Uh, where oh yeah, she's she's probably sleeping in that one place we gave her. 
the cave to her, right? Yeah, 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 she's probably back at the shack. Is this RPG Maker inspired? I mean, of course, if, you know, this, these developers have worked on RPG Maker for the most part. Rosemarine! There you are, you! It is! <laughs> my heart melts whenever she says my name! Honestly, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, I. Who <laughs> said you could stop working? <laughs> now you gotta massage my feet. I was intending to leave first thing in the morning, but. I was afraid I'd get lost in the dark. Never mind. Come with, come with me now. Oh. Are you taking me to the village? <laughs> Who do you take me for? Some rich? Forget what I said last night. Not exactly my finest moment. I... I didn't mean to be such a brute. Truth be told. I'm sorry for what I did too. I got it. All of that is dead and buried. Now come, I'm running late for Sunday Mass. Hi! Yes! Ah, you, ah, you, 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 ah, my heart! My heart! I'm falling! Ah. Ah, wait for me, Elise! Ah, cute! She's so cute, she's so cute, she's so cute, she's so cute, she's so cute! She's so cute. Uh, bring Rose and Marine home! She is with me! She's inside of me! Oh, no, she's not, no longer inside of me, okay. Flock? Oh, flock? Protect her smile. <laughs> Fluffy companion. It's cute. A bit sus, though. Yogata. Oh, it's a relief to see you. Jesus, even the goats are mole. <laughs> you know this goat? Yes, of course. We met on the way to Kiefberg. We've been together since. Yes, we were. We were. Oh, he's the cuddliest little thing, isn't he? The cuddliest little thing, you say? Anyhow, I ought to get going. Wouldn't want to be late for Sunday Mass. What the frick is Sunday Mass, by the way? <laughs> is it like religion or something? Is it like Sunday Sunday school? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment, Flock. It's church, okay. Sunday church. I meant to say church, but uh, the word was skipping my brain. I have to say, you did a decent job tidying up. You did pretty much everything I asked you to. Oh, I'm so glad. I wanted to assure you I meant no harm, Elise. You kept me up for hours last night thinking you'd... Uh, you want to depart I get it already, no need to tell me. Yes, this game is very German, yes, again. Look in the beginning had all German letters. It was in German, but I can't tell if it's all German or written by someone means oh, snowflake. Means snowflake. I see, I see, I see. Okay, that's really cute. Thank you, Mats. Hey, Mats, you're gonna be picking up on the German words of this game then. Thank you. Here, have some bread. You must be hungry. Hi. Ah, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Elise. You really are too kind. Good grief. You do remember I hit you with a broom, right? Yeah, you hit her over and over and over and over and over and over again. Called you a thief, made you do my bidding and whatnot. <laughs> Most folks would have tossed me right out the moment they found me. But you didn't. Hmm. I suppose I didn't. Anyhow, I'm heading out. <laughs> don't wander about and don't make a mess. <laughs> I want Elise. We don't deserve her. 
Pursue your love interest! Talk to your favorite girl when you see the heart above her, her he head to schedule a romantic date! <gasps> Okay! Okay! Well, I don't got any other girl, so... Rosenmarine it is. Ah, before you go, Elise. Hmm? I have something to tell you. If... You could come meet me later today. What's keeping you from telling me now? Ah, well... It's important, so... I'll be in the back by nightfall, alright? For goodness sake. It best be worth my while, you hear? Ah, I promise it's nothing bad. We'll see about that. We have a date! We have a date! Our romantic dates are marked with the heart icon. Each date will skip one time period. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. So I can't forget. Everybody, don't let me forget the date. <laughs> um... <clears throat> We assaulted her and turned her into our servant. All this means we're on a path to romance. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty, pretty much. All right, I'm gonna do the sensible thing. Save it on a different file. I'll call this file the Rosenmarine file. <clears throat> All right. And now we go to Sunday church. I'll get an earful from Father Hans if I don't hurry up. Unlocked a map menu. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm great at maps. Okay. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Meet Rosemary in the backyard dusk. Attend Sunday Mass. Grapevine Path, that's our home. Uh. A narrow passage is surrounded by a graveyard uh, left to her house by Granny Holly. A creek that falls down between Keepers Mountain and beyond, where Keepers old windmill oversees the lands beyond. The crossroads connecting Elise's house to the village, Primaldorf. The names are so groovy. <laughs> and the woods, where you can find Lev Kuchin's home and bakery. Uh, Sunday Mass. So this is where we need to go. Village Square. Right? Yes. Uh, narrow alleyway where Frey and Gustav li live. East side of the town where we can find Keepfrog's only inn. Keepfrog's stables and community garden. The town's new windmill built atop Keepfrog's breeziest mountain. Okay. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> Check your objectives, romantic date dates, and tasks on Keepfrog's map. Okay. Understa understandable, thank you. I have understood. Actually, I'm terrible at reading maps. Where do I go? Also, the style of that is very... Uh, reminiscent of... Uh, <laughs> uh, so, Fuyo is NTRing us again? No, we're doing this together. We are, we are the rising of the girls together. Wink, wink. Okay, from here we go to the viewpoint, right? Can we go to the viewpoint? This isn't the time to wonder about. I best hurry. Okay. We're sharing them? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> More like we are all inside of Elisa's head. You see, you see, you see her massive forehead? We are all inside of it. And we are commending her every move. Like if we want her to go like crazy we can make her go crazy like that see like that ah Puyo, why you to stop you're making me dizzy ah! see yeah she's like a mecca <laughs> a mecca <suit. laughs> make her do the penguin dance it's hard she can't crouch Time 
exactly what they're about. Okay. Mm. Frick, I have a map and I'm still getting lost. Oh, so that's the woodland. I'm thinking that I can't go there, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> oh my god, this is the Naruto swing. The silly old thing. To think Klepkuchen and I used to spend entire afternoons taking turns on the swing. Secured by slightly frayed rope and covered with pine needles, the swing's wooden planks sways gently in the breeze. There you are, Elise! Gretel. Oh, old lady! Come here, why don't you? And she's got a cat. Good day, Granny Gretel. On your way to mass, I see. Anything to keep father hands off my back. I have some fresh buns. They'll cheer you right up. Bread! 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 Why don't you take a look? Gimme! Give Gimme give bread! Love Kuchin's ba bakery. Looking cheeky again today, dearie. Look at her! Can you see her behind me? Oh my god, she's cute! Look at her! She's just... She's just so... Oh. Oh, cute cute, she's so wrinkly! Ah! Cute, 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 cute. Alright. Oh, wait, freak. Hold up, I got a notification. Okay, I'll, I'll answer this after stream. Uh, da, 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 da. We can cheek again today, dearie. I'm buying, I'm selling. See you, granny. Do I have any money? Oh, I have 10 coins. Uh, what can I even sell? Okay, I'm just gonna. Okay, I can get a bread. <gasps> Pretzels. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, but that's like all of my money. Should I? So Rosen to her for more bread. <laughs> Do I just use up all my money on bread? We're too poor for food. Ah. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. I'm buying it. I'm buying bread. I want bread really badly. There goes my money! I'm sorry, Granny. That was my last coins. Uh, not to this granny, to our deceased granny. Anything else? Some pretzels, maybe? I'm poor. Where's the I'm poor option? We only have I'm buying, I'm selling. Where's the I'm poor? <laughs> Tell me if you need anything else, dearie. Wait, she's called Gretel Lepkuchen? Yeah. Apparently. Does that mean something in German? Lepkuchen's got a little something for you, dearie. Thank you, Granny Gretel. You didn't have to. Oh, but I most certainly do. Ought to get some meat on those bones, aren't we? You're not coming to mass today either? My poor legs can no longer carry me, my dear. I'll carry you, Grandma! It means ginger... Oh, it means gingerbread. So gingerbread Gretel? That's a reference to Hensel and Gretel, right? Yeah, it is, it is, it is, it is. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Okay, that's really cute. My poor legs can no longer carry me. Takes care of you, I suppose. You bet. Hurry now. You don't want to be late. Okay, I see something over there. I see something over there. I want to see it. I want to see what's over there. Need something? Don't forget to stop by the village shops for some helpful items. Spend, spend your money wisely. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. There go the birdies. Yeah, I should have saved the money. Yeah, I'm gonna save the money. But I don't have. Yeah. Yeah. About that. It's been ages since I've been here, huh? Close off from the main path, the old home's walls show their vulnerability on the woodland's overgrowth. Okay. Oh. I was 
another goat. <laughs> Can I just go into the people's homes? No. It's eating grass. It's eating, eating grass. Can I steal food? These are for her goats, I'd later. Resting atop one another, many blemished, discolored, and wrinkled apples await their turn in the stable. Alright, now we can eat them. <laughs> chicken! I could eat the chicken. Alright, let's go up. I think. Wait, actually show me the map. <laughs> okay, we gotta go right somehow. Oh, there's a cat! I just noticed! Oh, it is. <gasps> I can just get pretzels for free, and I bought bread. <laughs> I bought the bread. I could have gotten free pretzels. I know they're floor pretzels, but they're still pretzels. Oh, of course. I'll spend my money wisely from now on. <laughs> People. Might be best to seal our windows and doors, old Wilhelm, just in case. Ah, there she is, alive and kicking. Made it home all right last evening, I see. I did indeed, Mr. Bernard. More importantly, what happened here? That dreaded windstorm, that's what happened. I suppose you didn't have it as bad as up in the mountains. I certainly didn't, by the looks of it. Oh, it was a sight you wouldn't believe, lass. Branches and leaves piled up high against folks' doors, entire treetops, some of them. Surely that's a bit of an exaggeration. The alleys took a beating, that's for certain. Some say they heard the wind knocking at their doors. Old Johan says it might have been the witch herself, but... Ah, here we go again. You can never be too certain, lass. Anyhow, I'll be heading inside now, folks. Let us hope for a better night's nice sleep this evening. May the Lord hear you, Wilhelm. All right, cute girl, cute girl, cute girl. Wait, story events. All story events are marked with uh, an icon. If marked by the ear icon, they'll skip one time period. Okay, gotcha. Everything all right, Mrs. Linda? Oh, Elise. Would you take a look at my poor flowers? That windstorm nearly uprooted all of them from their pots. Was it really that big of a storm? It was only a little windy up at the peaks. Why, you've seen all these branches scattered about the town. I heard Brunhilde's roof nearly came off. Oh, it was so frightening. I suppose. Can I take your flowers? I have a date. I have a date and I'd like to bring some. Prayer morning away yet again, I understand. Don't be silly now, it could have been much worse had it not been for her. Make certain you ask her for protection too. Protection, Mrs. Linda. Living all alone up in that mountain can't be good for you, Elise. I'll be praying for your sake too, rest assured. Is she also romanceable? Thank you, Miss Linda. Okay, wait, there's a saving spot over there. This is gonna need protection. Protection for her date night with Rosen. Let's go! <laughs> Jesus. Lepkushin and I used to play about in the water all the time, didn't we? Though we're a little too old for that now, I suppose. Forever more decorated with blooming flowers, Keithberg's crest rests atop the square fountain in its ancient glory. I'm pretty sure Lepkushin is another dateable girl and she is the granny. That one granny's, uh. Well, grandchild or something. Knocking on flo folks' doors, huh? A proper witch would have better things to do, I'd say. Hmm. Good seeing you, Elise! Oh, it must have been even worse than up in the mountains. It wasn't that bad, believe it or not. Ah, such a relief. I'm afraid we weren't as lucky, sadly. Oh, I do hope nobody was, as was hurt. 
can thank both the Lord and Saint Walpurga. Nobody was, but... Many of the townsfolk got their windows shattered and their roof tiles blown off. What about you, Mr. Heinrich? Oh, it was awful. Our windows shuttered. Shutters were ripped right off their hinges. It'll take all day to tidy up and fix everything. That's all right, dearest. The sooner we get to it, the sooner it'll be done. I can lend a hand if you'd like me to, Mrs. Ariane. Well, that's all right, Elise. Come now, you two. We'd best get inside. I'm gonna delay going to church the most I can. <laughs> I'm delaying going to church. What is over here? Oh, there's a kitty cat. Kitty cat. Why can I don't pet the cat? I will pet the cat. Does time actually pass? I think time only passes when you actually interact with stuff. Elise offering help? Is she okay? I think she's a good person, you know? She's just very strong-headed. No time to wonder about. Okay. Doggy! Dog! Dog! What a mess. I won't be going through here anytime soon. I suppose. Is Sunday, a is Sunday church a thing in Portugal? I'm sure it's a thing for people who are very, very religious. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, a bread is gonna be consumed. Okay, so this is gonna this is gonna skip one time period. I'm gonna eat one bread beforehand. Actually, I'm gonna wait until I'm starving to eat bread. <laughs> Goodness, Elise, you look dreadful. <laughs> Good morning to you too, Mrs. Berto. Oh, I wasn't certain you'd come today, Elise. Why wouldn't I, Mrs. Odilly? My, Elise, you do look quite tired. Couldn't catch a wink, I'd wager. Frightening, wasn't it? Oh, it must have been dreadful up in the mountains. Hmm. Not at all. It seems you folks had it worse than I. My, now that's hard to believe. That was no ordinary windstorm, I tell you. How so, Adili? Oh, I've had... I've about had it with this nonsense. She's saying it came from the woodland. That's what. Oh, Adili, it's no use entertaining such notions, my dear. You'll see, Mariel. All I can see is we're running late for mass. Goodness. What has Keefberg come to? After you, Elise. Woodland, huh? Old women gossip, yes. So Fuel's never been dragged to a Sunday mass before? My grandma's dragged me when I was younger. It is it. Oh. Freya. Good morning, Elise. Evergreen sweetheart, Freya. She's green. She's green, I repeat, she's green! How are you always so cheery, Freya? You took so long, I thought you weren't coming. I overslept a little, I suppose. Didn't get that much sleep last night. Oh, me neither. And all because of that windstorm. Not even my little sprig could help me. Sprig? Your sprig? Thank, you thank god you asked, because I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I keep a tiny sprig of lavender under my pillow, you see? Sniffing it helps me sleep better, and it leaves such a lovely... Shh! Keep quiet, you two! Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Whitholm. We'd best focus now, Elise. Wink. It's cute! It's cute! It's so cute! It's cute! Ah. You're the one withering on, Freya? May the blessing of the Lord, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us. May the hallowed Saint Walpurga take heed of our prayers. Amen. Mm. This Saturday, we will once again be celebrating our patroness, Saint Walpurga. As you all know, preparations for the festivities are already underway. 
Let us all contribute to the best of our abilities, brethren. That said, I am aware of what transpired last night. <sighs> Several of our neighbors were severely affected by the windstorm. I urge everybody to lend a hand in cleaning out the alleyways. Let us all have compassion for one another in these trying times. Mm -hmm. Let us trust Saint Alperga to guide our people and keep Kiefberg out of harm's way. May the Lord be with you, brethren. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Took you all... Wait, what? Took you all had to get out of bed this morning, I'd wager. Oh, that's Lip Kuchen. Yeah, that's Lip Kuchen. Ah. Uh... Fuyo is accidentally like the most cathartic <laughs> VTuber even Blasphemous in this. I don't mean to. I genuinely don't. I swear I'm not like, you know, I'm not really very religious at all. It just so happens that these games have gorgeous graphics, man. <laughs> Holy frick. Holy frick, we can raise the nun. Sugary devotee. Lab cushion. Uh. Very funny, lab cushion. Jokes aside, Elise? Don't I keep telling you to take your apron off for Sunday Mass? I'm certain the Lord couldn't care less, so why should you? <laughs> You're riling me up on purpose again, Lab. Can you tell? Oh, for goodness sake! <laughs> ah. I'm not gonna be able to choose! <laughs> I'd best get to work now before it gets late. Don't forget to come about later, Elise! I want, I want. Unlock the relationship menu. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Ah. Wait, check your relationship menu to track your suspicion levels at any time. Okay. Relationship menu, open the locket to check your romantic relationships with Rosemary and Freya and Lebkuchen. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, how do I... Items? Map? Wait. I didn't pay that much attention. Uh, I didn't pay attention how... Oh, this. Okay, there it is. Okay. Suspicion. Am I clicking something? Oh! Oh! Oh, that's cute! Oh! Oh, oh, that's cute. Oh, that's so cute. Also, I know, I know the artist that made this. Really, really nice. Uh, all of these little little stretches were made that by that one artist. I forgot their name. But yeah, they have a very, very, very particular cute style. Them. I can't choose, man. Can I just raise them all? Hello, father. I have a confession. I'm gay. We best send out, uh, send word to Primal Primal Dwarf before. Ah, Elise, didn't see you there. Send word to Primal Dwarf, Mr. Gustav. We're having folks from. I am struggling with words. Ugh. Lend a hand with the festival this year, Elise. I heard the windstorm wasn't as bad as up in the mountains last. Freya was fretting over you like you wouldn't believe. She was worried about me. She was? You ought to thank the Lord for your good fortune, Elise. Certainly, Father. Hard at work even on a Sunday, are you? When are not I, Father? Sundays are meant for rest, Elise. You let us know if you ever need a hand, you hear? Of course, Mr. Gustav, thank you. No, I don't want MTR. That's why I'm like, ah, I have to. 
But, but, but what, what is it? What happens? <laughs> no wonder Father Hans is such a miserable wretch. Oh my god. I would be too if I had to read this gibberish all day. Father Hans' holy scripture rests upon the altar. Each page scrawls with annotations. All right, there is our answer. She's not very religious. I remember sneaking into Father Hans' study with Leb when we were children. These two rooms have nothing but junk in them, anyhow. Saint Walpurga, huh? Basking in its holy glory, the image of Saint Walpurga solemnly watches over Kilfurk's church. Leb is a childhood friend, hold up now. Yeah! I remember sneaking into Father Hans' study with Leb when we were children. These two rooms have nothing but junk in them. Anyhow, okay. So what was that tentacle monster for? I don't know, this is a pretty friend family friendly game. Totally not horror whatsoever. Couldn't sleep much last night, could you? Could you? Didn't sleep a wink. Explains the hilarity. You're hopeless, Leb Kuchin. As long as you keep indulging me. So it's my fault, huh? Here you go, before I forget. <gasps> Thank you. I shall no longer starve. Oh, you brought me my favorite. Mr. Bernard said you were rather late getting home last night. Is that so? I did tell you it was almost time for supper when you stopped by. And I told you, Mrs. Elmo worked me like a donkey right until nightfall. Mr. Bernard was spreading over you is all. Mrs. Bern Mr. Bernard can find better things to do with his time, I'm certain. You really are so stubborn, Elise. Anyhow, it's about time I head out. Say, I'll be up at the bell tower all afternoon if you'd like to keep me company. I'll be there, Lib. Don't we have a date with the other girl at the same time? Wait, let me check. Oh no, okay, it's different. It's at dusk and it's afternoon. I can date both! <laughs> I can, I can, I can have a date with both! Shit! I was so excited, everything started falling over. Freak! Listen, I don't like NCR. Ultimately, we're gonna go with one girl, but we're just getting to know them, okay? Listen. We're just, we're just getting to know them. Like, we're, we're not, we're not, shh, shh. Zip it! Ooh, shiny? Item get, mysterious note. Okay, that's quite ominous. Oh god. There's something written on here. Hallowed Walpurga, sanctified be thy name. May thy will be everlasting and thy grace embracing. All embracing. Quenched those shall be on the Sabbath of the full moon. May this prayer find its restful place in thy life, bearing groove. A prayer? There's something else at the bottom. Keepwork's offering lies on the crossroads beyond the maple. May thy thirst be quenched, thy blessings received. In the crossroads. I wonder who dropped this. Sus. Sus. Sus! As much as I dislike Sunday Mass, I have to admit I feel at peace here. Too bad the old geezer's always about. Bathed in sunshine, its stained glass panel casts a warm glow over the church's jellied marble. I've never seen water coming out of here. I wonder if they've ever been used for anything. Polished completely smooth, the pearly stone basin sits untouched. Guys, we're just getting to know them. We're not NTRing them. I stopped lighting candles ever since Granny Holy passed. Not that they ever did anything, anyhow. Keep burning in the wake of a prayer. Each candle's flame flickers in serenade devotion. Serene devotion. Ooh, pretty. Oh, frick. <laughs> Eh. 
Spoken like a Twenty, our protagonist? No, don't say that! This place always brings back such good memories. The fragrant mountain frees frolics about the rolling hills, spreading its spring cheer all across Kiefberg. The wording of this game serenades my eyes with each beautiful word uttered. Thank goodness that's over. What a bore. To think I'll have to work all day until the evening. Time periods. Each day has six time periods, but only three are working periods. Morning, afternoon, and dusk. Uh, wait, hold up, hold up. Complicated, what do you mean? Uh... Time period. Each day has th six time periods, but only three are working periods. Time periods. All goals marked with... Uh, we'll skip one time period. What does that mean? What does that mean? Please, game, explain in teeny tiny brain terms. Uh... Dusk afternoon. You gotta be careful that the afternoon date doesn't go all the way into dusk. Huh. You can do six actions per day, basically. Okay. Okay. Save your progress? Yes. I will call this... The... The save file of going for whatever girl gets my heart first. Ah, Elise, I was waiting for you. All of them are so sweet to me. Waiting for me? I almost forgot to give you this. Ointment. What the frick is that? You mentioned your hands are feeling dry. Oh, wait, it's that thing from Blasphemous. It's oil. <laughs> for your hair and feel? Oh, you didn't have to, Freya. I guess it's right before bed every night. It does wonders for the skin. I put a little lavender in there too. Wait, you made this yourself? Of course I did, silly. That's Papa's favorite. His hands are always dry, see? You do have a knack for this sort of thing, don't you? Ah, so I'm told, I suppose. Anyhow, I'd best move along before it gets late. Say, Elise. I was wondering... I'm going to pick some flowers this afternoon up in the mountains. Flowers? I thought maybe we might care to join me, if you'd like. Alright, I'll be there for... Elise, you can't go to two places at the same time. Elise, shut the freak up. Elise, say no! Don't tell her you're go... Oh, God. Uh, th that's wonderful. Have a nice day, Elise. Elise! She's the two-timing one, not me! gotten into her. It's not me! It's Elise! <laughs> we can't all leave Keithberg over this nonsense. Leaving? Who's leaving? Oh, at least it's that witch folks keep withering on about. That windstorm couldn't have been mere coincidence. Old Joshans, Johans. Calm down, Brunhild. Think of your baby. Now, I'm not one to believe such things, but... I thought you weren't buying into this nonsense, Mrs. Bertha. Why, who are you to say it's nonsense, Elise? You're jumping to conclusions, I'd say. But it is nonsense, Mrs. Bertha. You're jumping to conclusions, I'd say. We all know old Jahan's making too much of it, as usual. Oh, I hope you're right. Of course we do, Elise. It's just... Last night was so frightening, it left us all wondering. I understand, Mrs. Dorothea. Yet fretting like this isn't... Worrying like this won't get us anywhere. Truly, Mrs. Bertha. You're right. For goodness sake. 
Suspicion down. Wait, is that good? Is that bad? Wait, is that good? Is it bad? That means they don't suspicious of me, right? Yeah, they're not suspicious of me. All right, everybody. <laughs> We're going for Rose and Marine, okay? She's our, she's our maid, come on. She's our maid. We can have a day tour through with the other girls just to see, but... We're gonna dedicate ourselves to Rose and Marine, okay? Unless... Unless... Unless Freya... But left Gucci... The nun... Ah! Uh, uh. Uh, you guys can already tell I don't play a lot of... You know... Romance-driven games. <laughs> I'd say wait until you know all of them. Yes, fair point. Yes. You're correct. Okay, we're gonna get to know them all first and then we decide. <laughs> Can't be bothered to lend a hand in the alleys, Elise. Folks can look after their own homes, I'd say. Sparing yourself on a Sunday, I see. As a matter of fact, it happened to work every Sunday, Mrs. Lorelei. Alright, alright, whatever you say, Lassie. Say, have you seen my niece by chance? Molly? I'll take you to heaven then. No, I don't think I have Mrs. Lorelei. Lorelei? Lorelei? She's been up to no good lately, you see. Running about, begging for food, skipping glass. Who knows what else? I see. Nothing a good whipping can fix, anyhow. I wouldn't be so certain. Don't whip your child. They're gonna develop a king for it. You've seen what it did to the alleys, Mariel. Oh, Adili, what are we to do with you? Is everything all right, Mrs. Mariel? Adili here is making too much of that windstorm is all. You'll see, Mariel. See what, Mrs. Adili? Old Johan's right, last that windstorm came from the woodland. It's that wretched witch. For goodness sake. Best keep such thoughts to yourself, Odilly. The townsfolk are already frightened. You wouldn't want to make it worse. Why? Well, I'm simply trying to alert folks to the. You ought to watch your words, dearie. That's what happens when you try Mrs. Mariel's patience, I suppose. Alrighty. Time for work. All available tasks are marked with the icon. Each ta task you do will skip one time period. Oh no. I don't want to work. I don't want to work. I don't. <laughs> I want to go on a date. <laughs> oh, oh no! The better you do, the better your reward. Do your best and spend your money wisely in the shops. Oh. Oh no. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna explore. We're gonna explore. I don't feel I don't wanna commit myself. Hello? Working on the Sunday again, Elise. Sundays are for taking one's leisure. I'm afraid I can't afford to take my leisure, Johan. Oh that's Johan. The festival's this Saturday, Elise. There won't be any shortage of work, I'm sure. You ought to look after yourself, Elise. Ludwig's right. We're facing rather trying times, folks. Trying times, you say? That windstorm was a warning from the witch lass. Oh, for goodness sake. We'll be heading out on patrol again tonight, old Jovan. As for you, Elise, make certain you head home before nightfall today. May St. Wolpurga blesses blessings be upon us, folks. Alright, thanks. I'm gonna look for free food. I heard it was a whole ordeal to get this grindstone down the hill. The worn down, rough looking grindstone sits at the centerpiece of a resting area. Alright, anything here? Hello? What do you say, Elise? About what, Mrs. Marlene? Marlene? Ah, don't mind us, we were just talking about the festival. It's the perfect opportunity to find yourself a groom, Elise. 
Can't say I'm interested if I'm honest. Don't try her patience, Marlin. Well, I was right about Elisa's age when I met Tristan. Lucas too! He wasn't much older when he left for Primal Dwarf to get married. I don't know, I'm looking more for a wife. I um Linda, what did I tell you? I won't hear another word about your brother, Linda. It's best I leave them to it. Yeah, I'm more of a bride girl, Marlin. <laughs> yeah, I just um how do I come out to them? Old lady, allow me to talk to you. Old lady! Talk to me. Ah, here I thought I wouldn't be seeing you today, Elise. Everything's fine, Mrs. Mechtild. I hardly noticed the windstorm. Oh, you can't imagine how glad I am to hear that, dearie. I'm afraid I wasn't as fortunate, however. I can lend a hand with anything you need, Mrs. Me Me Mechtild. Thank you, my dear. I'll as well, don't fret. Oh my god, is the old lady also a love interest? branches blocking my front door, that's all. I had to wait for the lads to come and clear it out. Well, I'm glad I wasn't more serious. It wasn't more serious. So am I, Elise. I was worried about you. Living all alone up in the mountains. I can look after myself, Mrs. Megtild. Oh, I can only hope we can all have a better night's sleep tonight. Then again, didn't you say Elise has a daughter in the sequel? I'm pretty sure she does, you know? Like, I'm not 100% sure, but like... It is her. <laughs> Unless they... But then again, I haven't played Golden Tron. I haven't played Pocket Mirror Golden Tron. I played the original. I don't know if they changed anything. But, uh... I remember that in Pocket Mirror, there was like pictures of, uh... You know, an older Elise, I think it was, with like... Her... Her husband? I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna affect the story or how the story is gonna affect it. I guess we'll see. Are you here to prank Wilma too, Elise? Jacob! Why did you tell her? This is about pranking Mrs. Wilma. It's nothing to do with you! You brats! You brats! Oh no you don't! Out with it, you two! Either spill it or I'll be telling Mrs. Wilma everything I just heard. Please, Elise, don't tell anyone. Join us then, let's prank her together! <laughs> Apple! Deal! No! Elise! Hooray! Who calls their son Apple? Does it mean Apple? Oh my god. <laughs> it means Apple? So, what's this about? I didn't even... I didn't even notice, okay. Buckets! Buckets? We're hanging a bucket of water above the inn's front door, Elise. So that when she comes out... SPLASH! And how are you two expecting to do this without being seen? Uh, we... um... Well... For goodness sake! Yeah, that's her catchphrase. I have to admit, I'd make my day to see a bucket fall on that hag's head. It may be worth giving it some thought. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Naming my kid Radish. <laughs> what a mess! I won't be going through here anytime soon, I suppose. Alright. Oh. Frick. Okay, let me out. Oh, wait. Wilma's shack. I wonder what she keeps in here. Can I go inside? No, I can't. She keeps a pile of dead bodies. You. I don't wanna. What a mess. I wanna be going through here in time soon. Actually, that doesn't have like a time skip thing. So I'm guessing that that doesn't skip time. Right? She's not real, Miss Oh, okay. Oh, it's 
it's you. Elise, was it? What do you sell? Matches, bandages, ointment, grape juice, St. Walpurgis oil. Isn't grape juice just like wine? Are you sure that's how sweetheart she's just calling me sweetheart? Oh, she's calling me sweetheart. Oh. This game is gonna mess with my heart, isn't it? Ah, you can buy just in time, Elise. You seem a little anxious, Mrs. Elmo. How can I not be with all this rubbish scattered about town? Anyhow, won't you fetch me some apples? Uh... No! I got a date, I think! I apologize. Uh... I apologize. I have other things to concern myself with right now, Mrs. Elma. You've always had a liking for wasting my time, that's what. Jesus! Okay, I hate you too. Clearly I've got nothing better to do all day. Let me know if you change your mind, you hear? Okay, so we can always come back. Alright, gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Just because of that, Thelma, I'm not giving you any apples. And what about this lady? Oh, I'm so glad you dropped by, Elise. Won't you lend me a hand? I have my hands full, tidying up after the windstorm, you see. I can lend you a hand with that, Mrs. Ariane. I was hoping you could fetch me some eggs from the coop. I apologize. I happen to be rather busy myself, Mrs. Ariane. Okay, so that's eggs from the coop. I'll have Freya or even Henrik see to it later, I suppose. My apologies, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Ariane. What am I to do with all this work? All right, so we've got that, we've got that. Let's see. What a mess. Wait, but didn't didn't Freya go through here earlier? No. Wait, so we have to do some work, right? I think we have to do some work. I can help with that. I happen to be busy, unfortunately. Keeping life cushion the company, huh? Can say I'm not looking forward to it. What's with what's with the constant reloop thing? Okay, I guess we do have to. I think we have to work. Cause right now it's uh Sunday. Uh, where can we see the time? Uh. Also, wait. What is that? Investigate the notes further. Oh, frick. That's right. We had that one thing. The note. It said something about the crossroads. Wait, let's go there. Let's go there. Let's explore. It's in the upper left corner. That says day. Oh, morning. Okay. Wait, it's still morning? Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Well, yeah, you can do either job without losing the date if you look at your goals. Uh... Oh, because it says later. Ah. Oh my god. Okay, you guys are better than me at understanding things. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So that's how we see. That's how we see it. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hard to believe that windstorm ever happened, wouldn't you say? I suppose. I'm afraid old Odile is losing her wits, however. You've seen how jittery she is this morning, haven't you? It can't be good for her health, that's for certain. She's always been rather anxious, you see. All this nonsense about the witch and the woodland is only making it worse. So you think it's nonsense too, Mr. Wilhelm? I'm not one to believe in such things, but... Old John seems to know a thing or two about this witch she speaks of. Oh, for goodness sake. One can't know for certain, last. She could be out here for all we know. Best make certain we all check under our beds tonight, then. <laughs> Here's the whole thing. You don't come to regret your words, Elise. Guys, I'm loving this game. <laughs> okay, hold up. So, map. Let me just check the crossroads before we go and do some work. Cuz 
because the note said something about the crossroads, right? Right? Or maybe I just understand wrong. Hold on. Mysterious note. Oh, we can use it. It doesn't seem to be working, huh? Oh, I see. Inspect. I can use it on things. There's something written on here. Hallowed Walpurga, sanctified by thy name. May thy... Quench those shall be on the Sabbath of the full moon. May this prayer find its restful place in thy life-bearing roof. Life-bearing roof. Kipurga's offering lies in the crossroads beyond the maypole. What is a maypole? So wait, during during the night, right? Full moon was it? We have to go to a maple. What is a maple? And do this there. A tree. Okay. A tree in the crossroads. This is the crossroads. Where is the tree? Is it that tree? I guess that's for night. We don't really need to concern ourselves with that right now. I'm just... I'm just overly interested in exploring. Oh wait, we can come here. Huh. It's not a tree. It's a little pool. Also, oh, it's the is it the pool with the things that we were just okay? It might be it might be the crossroads pool. What is this over here? It's suddenly gotten quiet. Also, Alex, welcome welcome to the Clover Chats. I hope you enjoyed the member content. Symbolizes warmer months. I see. Okay, I know I've got work and dates to do, but what is down here? I've gotten curious. I'll get an earful from Father Hands if I don't hurry up. Okay, never mind. We can check it yet. Damn game. They were ready for this. But they won't be next time. Remember eight months of oh, I did I was I was so engrossed in the game that I haven't seen. Thank you for the eight months. Ah, my brain. Please pardon my brain. Alright, let's go do some work. Let's go do some work. All right, I'm gonna work for you because you're nicer than the other lady. All right. Of course. Leave it to me, Mrs. Ariane. Careful with the hands now, you hear? I dare say they're still riled up after last night. Oh no. Oh no! Oh god, it's a mini game. Oh. Pick egg. Okay. 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 Not good, they're good whatsoever. Round two. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Five D no, I don't have it. <laughs> Pass. Yay! 
Okay. Oh my, these will hardly do, Elise. Jeez, okay. How many eggs do you need? Heinrich's going to be rather disappointed, the poor lad. No! For your time, Elise. Thank you, Miss Suzarian. 32! Okay, you know what? That's perfect. For now. It'll do just fine. Okay, it's still morning. Right? No, it's the afternoon. Romantic date available. Task available. Alright. Uh, so current... Meet Lepkuchen at the church tower in the afternoon. Meet Freya at the viewpoint in the afternoon. Help Elizabeth chop some wood. Help Linda with the chickens. Okay, we can go for a date. Or we can work our ass off. I'd say... I'd say we should go for a date. <laughs> I'd say we need to get to know the girls, okay? So, uh... Let's start with the one that's the closest. All right. Which is the nun? Also, wait, can we talk with the ladies? Oh, Elise! Ah, Elise, perfect timing! What's the matter, Mrs. Marielle? Poor Odelia's losing her wits, you see. She's rather superstitious, after all. I suppose it could be bad, considering her age. Truly. She's been coming in and out of the alleyways, too. I suppose she's fretting over the damage, but... Are you done with the cleaning cleanup, Mrs. Ariane? Ah, it's taking a while, but it's coming along. Odili won't last a week carrying on like this. Without our support, I'm afraid she'll... Oh. Oh. Not my problem. <clears throat> Alright. <laughs> ah, she's cute. Uh, she's cute. Uh, she's so cute. Uh. There she is. Wait. I need to eat. Screw it. We're gonna starve, but we'll be fine. Hi, there was. She called me Kawaii! My, there was no need to run, Elise. <laughs> Who's running you? <laughs> You're always like this, lab cushion. I can't help it. You're so easy to tease, Elise. <laughs> For goodness sake. Such a nice day today. I could stay here until nightfall. In a mood for another earful from Father Hens, are you? Remember when we would sneak up here at nighttime? Look at the stars and snack on leftover pretzels as if I'd forget that. Huh. Or that night that old geezer caught us. <laughs> You'll never let that one go, will you, Elise? That wretch had me on my knees praying for hours on end. Yet all you got was an earful. I recall praying right out alongside you that night, don't you? Because you felt sorry for me, not because he told you to. You two will never see eye to eye, will you? What is there to see? You're the one who's put up with him for too long, the way I see it. Hmm. It's not as though we've never been at odds with each other. Ah, spare me. Over what? You think I'm short of complaints? Indulge me, why won't ya? Frick, hold up, guys. Let me... Allow me... Allow me to... Okay, there we go. Indulge me, why don't you? <laughs> Bald geezers like you belong in the pig, pig pen, you oinker. Wait, what? <laughs> Let go <Chen! laughs> Wait, she's just yelling this out? You'll never hear us from up here, Elise. Oh. <laughs> All right, but you're the one getting a lecture if he catches us. At the top of your lungs now. <laughs> you're so ugly, not even Saint Walpurga can save you, you ogre! <laughs> <laughs> a 
Okay, she's already corrupted. Yeah, she's just... <laughs> Tell me my hair is too long again and I'll chop off whatever's left of yours, you old weasel. Mm. <laughs> Did he really tell you that? For a clergy woman, that is. Who cares about what some made-up rules, Leb? Aren't you feeling a lot lighter after all that, Elise? I can see you needed it, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm no saint, after all, despite my veil. It's a shame you don't let your hair down more often, Lab. Huh. Suits you much better than that dust cloth on your head. <laughs> yeah, they're both brats. My, you're such a charmer, Elise. All it does is weigh you down and it makes you look gloomy, too. How do I look without it, then? <laughs> you're such a killjoy, Lab Cushion. Anyhow, Elise, it's best to move along, wouldn't you say? Those eggs won't collect themselves, I suppose. I already collected the eggs, it was a disaster. I'll be waiting for you by the bakery later. Don't forget. Mm -hmm. Of course, Lev, I'll be there. So we need to eat or we're gonna starve to death. We got a piece of romance. You get a love heart after every successful date. Check your progress on the relationship menu. Okay. Okay, hold on, we're starving. We're clearly starving, look at that. Uh alright, Elise, relax. Okay, so we missed we missed the date with um with Freya. Bread. All right, let's see, eat the bread. Oh, did you see that? The music changed. When we're starving, the music changes. Hmm. Maybe we should just eat two bread, right? Yeah. It's dusk. I feel bad that we missed Freya's uh, day. Oh, man. I like them all. They're all really cute. What is this? This must be Lepkuchen's Bible. Let's see. No, I can't do it. So tedious I can't get it past the first sentence. Copy of the Holy Scripture rests upon the altar beneath a thin layer of dust. I hope she doesn't take it too badly. Germans usually hate getting stood up at dates when you were promised. Isn't that everybody though? I don't think that's just German people. <laughs> I think I think that's just everybody. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna save it here. Uh, I'm gonna save it here. We're just gonna completely forget that Freya exists during this playthrough. And I'm gonna I'm gonna so be sad about it. I thought you'd be holed up in church all day, Lev. I'm waiting for Mrs. Odilly. She asked me to pray to the rosary with her outside. Says she needs blessings after lending a hand in the hallway at Ollie's. Lending a hand? What's she doing out there? Littering on about the witch? So I'm told, yes. You put up with too much of this nonsense, Lev. You know my answer to that, Elise. It's my duty to play make believe with Mrs. Odilly all day. You wouldn't understand. Elise! You let me fretting over you at this rate, you know? Aren't you all ready? No more than you fret over me unnecessarily, I'll add. Speaking of Mrs. Odilly, she's rather late. I can keep you company until she comes about, Leb. My good deed for today. I have a better idea for your good deed of the day, Elise. Moving along to work and stop wasting time. Go on now, I'll be seeing you later. Alright. Mm, let me just check something. Alright, so next. We can either work more or we can meet up with Rose and Marine. Hmm.
Alright. Also, wait, what was that? I saw something that said... Uh... Ah, there it is. Meet Rosemarine at Backyard at Dusk. But I saw another one. I saw another one, which was kind of weird. Help Marlene with the apples. Play Kiss the Rat with the kids. God, okay. <laughs> We're all into something never. Ah, I feel bad that I stood her up! Oh. Tomorrow we'll go on a date with, um... With Freya. And then... Well, not tomorrow, tomorrow. I mean, after this day. We're gonna go on a date with Freya. And then we'll see. We'll see. Let's go check on Rosen. Oh god, is she gonna give me an earful? Ugh. Ah, Elise! I thought she'd be in town. Oh, I just stopped to pay Mrs. Grethel a, vi a visit. She's been wanting to teach me this recipe, but I can't seem to find the time. Okay, so she's not gonna say anything about it. Okay, good. Good. So if we send someone up, she's not gonna be mad. It's like we never planned it, okay? It's like we never planned it. Okay, awesome. Ugh. A recipe for what? Oh, I'm so glad you asked, Elise. You see, Papa's a big fan of her honey milk bread, but... Mr. Gustav? He's got the biggest sweet tooth, you know? Now that's a little unexpected. I've been meaning to learn the recipe is all. I'll get it from Mrs. Gretels. It's a little embarrassing, but... Papa... Well, he's always said that... Um, you don't have to tell me, Freya. He says he likes my cooking better because it's, um, made with love. Oh, I know, Elise. He's so embarrassing. No, that's cute! It's cute. Mr. Gustav and Freya really are close, huh? Can't say it's not understandable, though. Can I buy more bread? for you today, dearie? Bread. Bread. Two bread. Tank. Okay. Thank you. Mm. All right. Well then. We will just remember if we alternate them, you might not have enough points for any of them. But at least one date! At least one! At least one! At least one heart with everybody! It's time, it's time for Rosenbarine! Wait, there was an icon? There's an icon on the wall? What, did I miss something? Huh? Oh wait, Frick, you're right! Frick, you're right! Oh! Was this opening here before, I wonder? This place is so stuffy. Stay sane. Keep Elise from feeling frightened with sanity healing items or she might go mad. Uh, what this? Diary entry one. This looks an awful lot like that old geezer's robe, doesn't it? What's this? The miracle of our beloved patroness, Saint Valpurga. After last evening's events, I have no choice but to take responsibility. Not only for Saint Walpurga's sake, but for old Ollie's as well. Huh? Granny Holly? On her deathbed, old Holly confessed to all her sins. Among her most mundane missteps, she told me of Elise. Of her many prayers to cure her of her childlessness. Huh? Yet what struck me as remarkable was the miracle she claimed was granted. That the woodland itself granted her wish for a child. 
as she put it herself. He granted her wish for a heavy price. How can this be? How did old Holly truly mean to say? If this truly did happen and Elise was conceived by St. Walpurga's divine intervention, yet, if not for St. Walpurga's blessing, then who is he? Old Holly didn't seem delirious, nor did she lose her composure. I have more questions than I can answer at this moment. What is going on here? I'd best hold on to this piece of paper. Tattered note. This is another prayer. Hallowed Walpurgis, sanctified be thy name. I beg Vil for a sign, a testimony to my plea. May you accept this offering, the remnants of thy miracle. Keith Briggs welcomes thy blessings, thy guidance. Someone must be leaving these around. But who? There's something else at the bottom. Find proof of our faith up at the peaks. Buried within the windmill that once was. Hmm. This is... that old windmill in the mountains. Uh, what's that? Uh... Uh, Elise, it's time to battle! What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? What, is that? what the frick is that? What are you? What are you? You have funny feet! Why are your feet like that? Why are you built like that? I wanna know what happens if I die. Can you date it? I don't know, can I? Date. Oh, okay, that's really pretty. Continue? Yes. <laughs> I just wanted to keep it as a pet! Come on! I, I just wanted to keep it as a pet! Alright, let's see. People die when they are killed. That's so true. And I am a people, aren't I? Here it is. That effect is really neat. Okay, I'm just gonna skip it. Now Freya gets ignored entirely. I told you guys, we're gonna completely forget about Freya during this playthrough. <laughs> and she's gonna, she's gonna be one of the best. You'll see. I'm gonna just press skip. Oh, I can. Never mind. An old tattered robe rests on the ground. Is there anything else around here? Oh, there's a door. A door. It's locked too. What is this place? I'm inside sigil of pillars appears chiseled into the door's grated surface, surrounded by an even scattered of crevices. Can I then use the item? Doesn't seem like this is what it should be I should be using here. Okay. Ah, uh, just means you'll stream the fray route to make up for it, right? <laughs> we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Alright. This playthrough, we're doing all endings, nice. I don't want to say I will. I don't want to. I don't want to commit yet, but there's a probability. Okay, I, I'll be honest. I said at the beginning I wouldn't, but there is a high probability. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna need you to like come up here. Yeah, very nice. All right, now you stay there. There you go. Oh wait, there's a thing there. Wait, no, go back. <laughs> what was that thing? I... Was I dreaming or... At least not everything that you see is a dream, okay? I think I might need something to clear my mind. A date! No, the thing fell! 
don't know what that was about or what that thing was, but what I saw in there was a ritual of sorts. There's no doubt about it. We'd be down for it. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, all right, let me see. What do? What do? What do? What do? What do? What do? Uh, we can either work or we can go on a date with Rose and Marine. We're gonna go on a date with Rose and Marine because screw, screw working. It's daytime, baby! I saw a terrifying monster. But I wanna go on a date. You all Rose and Marine after being so mean. Yes, we do. Also, wait, Frick. They meant... Wasn't the... Viewpoint? Is this the thing? Wait. Hold up. The viewpoint was a windmill, right? Is this, right? This is where we need to go? Or... I don't know. Or is it here? Oh, pretty. Goodness knows what I would give to live in a castle just like that one. Yet, here I am. Simple maid of all work. Shining in the distance, the monumental castle stands ephemeral and out of reach. Whoa, that's cool. Flower physics! The windmill that once was. This is it, surely. But I can't move this out of the way. Maybe I should come back some other day. Alright. Wait. Gotcha, so that's for later. That's for later. Mm -hmm. I agree with you guys. You are... <laughs> You're basically put putting my thoughts into words as well. It's your thoughts too, but it, I agree. I'm glad that I can enjoy this game with you guys. I've been waiting for so long for this to come out. And I'm so happy for the developers that they finally managed to to like finish it and release it. All right, we save. Yes. All right. This is for the tutorials. Let's check up on the Rosen Marine. They didn't have to take all the effort to be a just filter or find the thesaurus, but gosh darn, I'm glad they did. It's a very particular style of writing. Friggin' Pocket Mirror was like this as well. Oh, the goat's here. There you are, Flock. That'd be nice being a goat, huh? Not one care in the world, oblivious to everything. I don't trust this goat. I don't trust this goat. Oh, what am I doing talking to a goat? This goat reminds me of a character in uh, Pocket Mirror. Date the goat as well. I'm not gonna date the goat! <laughs> ah, there she is! There she is. <laughs> I'll spend some time with her. There you are, Rosemarine. Okay, guys, listen. I love her voice. <laughs> I, I like all of the girls, but I love her voice in particular. It's very cutesy and moly. So... I... <laughs> Ah! Ah! <laughs> I didn't know you'd be back so soon, Elise. I still ought to head back to town, mind you. What are you doing standing out here? <laughs> I was just waiting for the stars to come out, is all. Hmm. 
little too early for stars, don't you think? I find it helps me air out my thoughts. Mm. Air out your thoughts, you say? I'm waiting for the waxing crescent. It's important I set my sights on what's to come. The sooner the better. What do you mean, Rosemarine? You see, Elise... Fuyo, are you regularly in the first girl is best girl camp for these kinds of things? I don't usually play um, romance games because when there's like multiple choices, I always struggle to like stick to a character. <laughs> I just, I, 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 especially on stream, because like I, I like them all, but then chat also has a preference for somebody, and then I also have a slight preference for somebody, and then I can't choose. Ah, <laughs> uh, you see, Elise. I've dreamt about you before. About Kiefberg too. Oh. Last night, or... Hmm. I know this may sound strange, but... I didn't quite stumble upon Kiefberg by accident. What do you mean? Do you believe in fate, Elise? Hmm. I don't know. I've never given it much thought. Hmm. Then you most likely won't believe what I have to say, but... I've always known my fate was with you, Elise. Huh. It's too soon to be having this conversation, if I'm honest. I meant to wait until you were ready, but... I don't understand. Rosemarine, red ready for what? You'll know in time. What's with all this mystery? Out with it, Rosemarine! What are you trying to tell me? It took me quite some time to make sense of it myself, but... Everything's feeling so strangely nostalgic to me. Hmm. Nostalgic, you say. Your name, your voice, your home. Uh, this breeze, even. All that surrounds you. So much of it feels like home to me. That's not possible, Rosemarine. It's you, the stars told me about, Elise. I'm certain now. Never in my life have I ever heard such riz. I mean, nonsense. <clears throat> and yet... I'm covered in goosebumps. <laughs> I can tell you don't believe one word of what I just said. <laughs> Rosemarine, I... I think I'll stay out here for a little while longer, if that's alright. <laughs> I promise I won't be late for supper. <sighs> alright. We'll stay out here too long, you hear? Hi! I want, I want. I have a feeling Rosemarine is like super soft, but she will actually dominate the living daylights out of Elise. I don't know. It's just a feeling that I have. It is a feeling. I don't want to confirm or deny any. It's just a feeling that I have. I might, I might, if I do have to choose a route, I might go for Rosemarine, actually. Oh, we're starving. Oh, no. Also, it's night. Oh, no. Wait, can I eat grapes? Oh, I can. Pretzel. Eat. I might, I might go for her because uh, she's got the funny goat and I feel like that's very important for the story too. Oh, I'm finally done with work for today. We did one work. <laughs> one work! I'd best head over to Mrs. Gretel's to see Lip Cushion. Have dinner with Rose and Marie. Meet Lip Cushion at the bakery. Last time I tried to get all the girls, the game automatically dumped me with the NPC guy. I learned a lesson. <laughs> Alright. I don't trust this goat. Goat weird, see? Oh! Guys, that... That thing? Is when I skip text. This is skipping. It's not like a weird glitch effect. 
Oh, okay. It's when I press shift. Yeah. Ah, Elise, welcome back. I brought some bread. Let's settle down and eat. We, uh, I did? I did not. But okay. <laughs> Let's pretend I did. Would you like me to start making dinner from, for us from tomorrow, Elise? Hmm. That's not a bad idea in itself, but... How am I to know you won't make a mess of it? Last thing I want is to spend my evenings in the outhouse. I'll have you know I'm a proper cook, Elise. Never once did my sweet granny disapprove of anything I prepared. Well, I suppose it can't do much harm. Eh. On that note, Rosemarine, you're to sleep up in the attic from now on. Can't have you hanging around the granary and bringing all the dust and cobwebs inside. Uh, uh, no. Oh, I, clean it. I can clean it out for you, Elise. It's really no trouble. Huh. I've had my fill of running out about looking for you all day and night. Oh, Elise, I wouldn't want to be a bother. And I wouldn't want you nesting with the mice and the geckos. You're sleeping in the attic and that's final, you hear? I'm letting you sleep inside where it's perfectly warm and... Did you hear that, Rosemarine? Oh. Hear what? I'm taking the broom. You stay here, just in case. All right, everybody, I'm gonna hit somebody else with my broom. All right, who do I gotta... Who do I gotta murder? Who? Am I starving? No, why, why do I get this weird effect? Who? I saw that? What did you see? What did you see? I'm not going anywhere until I figure this out. Wait, freak! I see them! I, wait, wait, who is this? Who? Konogaki. You! Konogaki. doing here, Miffy? I was out on a stroll, I swear. I swear on my auntie's name. And you just so happened to hide behind my house. I see. Who doesn't? You sneak about folks' homes every now and then too, don't you? What are you doing here, Mandy? I'm, a, I'm the protagonist, okay? I get to. I get to do that. You don't. Tell me right now or I'll scrub your mouth with soap this very minute. Is this another risible girl? I don't know. <coughs> it's getting quite late, isn't it, Elise? I'd best... <coughs> Out with it! I, I saw her. The girl you're hosing, Elise. <coughs> you saw nothing, Molly. We're just calling her a different name each time. <laughs> She's not from around here, even I can tell. You were having supper together and everything. Why are you drooling? Are you interested? You keep your mouth shut, Mubby, or I will. Why don't you share some of that bread you got, Elise? I might keep quiet if you do. I should have guessed that's what you wanted. All right. What are you telling him, Miffy? You'd better get me a present tomorrow. <laughs> Mouth shut, or I'll make certain you'd never go for a stroll again. <laughs> Suspicion up. <laughs> oh no. And don't come back! Or else? Oh, for goodness sake, this is the last thing I needed. Is she gone? This could be bad, Rosemarine. Uh, oh, Elise, I, I genuinely didn't see her. I would have told you if I had. Uh. Don't you start fretting now, too. Do you think she'll tell anyone? 
If she does, we could be in trouble. I know, Rosemarine. It's Rose and Marine. Oh, shush. I'm heading back inside. Ah, uh, yes. She's calling an emergency meeting. Muffy's spying on you. Fulfill her daily quests for food items to keep her from snitching and raising suspicion. Oh, no. But I gave her a food item! Why did, she, why did it still raise? Avoid suspicion. Mind what you say and do your best to avoid raising suspicions towards Elise or bear the consequences. Oh, no. They're gonna burn me at the stake. Wait, but I don't want to go to bed. Didn't I have a date? Meet Lab Chen at the bakery. Don't forget. Okay. Okay, we gotta go meet Lev Kuchen. She wanted bread and you gave her pretzel? Oh! Oh, I see. Okay. Alright. Alright. I need to do a better job at the work, though. That's for certain. And it's way easier to manage if we're only dating one girl. We can't be two timing, otherwise it's gonna be really hard to manage the resources in the game. So everybody, I declare, we're gonna go for Rose and Marine. Not only because I feel like she might be the one with the most like plot heavy stuff, but I also really like how cute and soft she is. We're not two timing, we're three timing. No, so far, technically, we're two timing because we only went on a date with uh, with the nun. Which, by the way, I love the nun as well. But <laughs> man, they're all really cute. I love them all. We're gonna we're gonna go for Rosemarine. You can hear the froggies. What about the mommy shopkeeper? When they update the game first to be able to romance her, they should. I will. When they do that. Also, is it open again? No. Maybe the windmill is, though. Oh! Hi! There you are, Lab Kuchen. You're a little too happy to see me, aren't you? Oh, I thought today would never end, that's all. You do look tired, Elise. These folks will be the death of me, that's what. Fretting over the switch nonsense all day and night. You know they're rather superstitious, Elise. Oh, you're buying into it now, too. What's next? We all sleep in the church together like chickens in a coop. Elise? It's all nonsense, Leb. Everyone's losing their wits. Here's your bread, Elise. Should have given me this bread earlier. Two? <gasps> Thank you! Did you make too much today or something? I felt you could use a little more than usual tonight. I should have come here to talk to her before I went to the... Before I had dinner. Yeah... You need to look after yourself, Elise. The kitchen's always had time to figure things out. But... Is this her intuition again, or...? Move along, Elise, before it gets late. I I'll see you tomorrow, Lev. She knows! She knows! Oh, no! Why is it shiny? Can I still buy during the night? Yeah, I can. The old granny's so cute. Looking cheeky again, dearie. See you, granny. Alright. What's with these guys? Oh, I can't find it. What could you find, Groon? Uh, I hadn't seen you there, my dear. The bear Mrs. Mariel gave me. That's what you get for being such a klutz, Groon. Apple. Mrs. Mariel said she made it for me. It even had a ribbon on it. It may be best to head inside for now, my darling. 
So he's looking for it in the dark, that's for sure, certain. You're a klutz, you're a klutz. You're a brat! <laughs> it's not funny, Apple. You have your hands full, don't you, Mrs. Lizbeth? Like you wouldn't know. Can't be German, every shop is closed at 8 p.m. sharp. <laughs> Oh wait, frick, I don't wanna... I don't wanna hold that. I'm wasting matches. Alright, do I need to hold them? Ah, I'm just wasting matches! Ah, I waste match every time I open the thing! I'm a dumbass. Looking to get another lecture from Bernard Elise? He lets out a spare her the earful, Henrik. Finally, a voice of reason. Don't lump me in with Ludwig and Bernard Ergen, Ugen, Ugen. At least is more than capable of looking after herself. The way I see it. I most certainly am, Mrs. Mr. Heinrich. These old folks, however. You better keep an eye on them. Do you mean Mrs. Odilia and old Johan? They've been spreading other nonsense, I've heard. Old Johan's gonna become a problem sooner rather than later, I'll, wa I'd wa I'll wager. Why do you say that, Mr. Eugen? You'll see, lass. I wouldn't want to be talking behind the old lad's back, but... I suspect this windstorm nonsense will take its toll on us. Kitty cat. There's a mouse. Do you see that? Step on it. Step on the mouse. What a mess. I won't be going through here anytime soon. Okay. What about this lady? My Elise, why are you still wandering out about town? Is everything all right, Mrs. Odilly? It clearly isn't, is it? What if that windstorm picks up again this evening? There's only so much an old woman can do against... The wind? Against the woodland, Elise. Hardly see a reason for all this fretting, if I'm honest. Oh, I'm well aware that you're trying to say, Blast. This windstorm is no other occurrence. I'll have you know. Oh, this is getting on my nerves. You don't mean to say it was the... Oh, please, don't mention it. For goodness sake. Hmm. Okay. It would be so easy to read her name as Mrs. Oldie. <laughs> it's very fitting. Okay, anything else here? I'm looking for maybe like extra food items, anything so I don't have to waste my money, you know? Any extra loot, any secrets for me? Please? Imagine living across Wilma's Inn. Old folks' homes are left behind to rot after they go on to meet their maker, huh? Such a waste, isn't it? What a mess. <laughs> if you do work instead of <laughs> dating, maybe you can afford food for your... Shut up! If I want to date, I can date! <laughs> yeah, but I'll stick, I'll stick to... Stick to, to Rose and Marine, it's so easier to keep. It's gonna be hard to say no to the other girls though, it's gonna be so hard. This small fallen tree. Oh no, whatever shall I do? Talking about that, is she here? No, she's still at the tree, but maybe there's a secret. Any secret? 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 Secret for me? No, no sneaky. No, no, no secret for me. No secret. You're really silent. I mean... Fragrant mountain breeze frillies about the rolling hills spreading its spring cheer all across Keefberg. You could have said that in three words. But I appreciate that you don't... Actually, wait, I have a question. Is this something that I can step on and unlock a secret passage? It feels like it would be. Maybe I I'm just letting my imagination run wild. Alright, okay, I'm out. Bye-bye, old folk.
Bye bye. Bye bye. Wife number two. I will see you soon. I will make you wife number one at a different time line. <laughs> All right. Eh, eh, eh. Alrighty, let's go. Liv just hanging out, pondering how you played with her heart. I, 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 I like Liv as well. They're all number one in my heart. Alright, I'll let myself be seduced by Rose and Marine. She looks like she has the dummy, dummy vibes under her cutesy moe nature, so... You know what? That works out. You just call her number two for now! Until I raise her! Feel greedy, feel. <laughs> My wife. My stay at home wife. Very good. Elise? I'm heading off to bed, Rosemarine. I can spend nights in the greenery if you'd like. No, I meant what I said. You're sleeping in the attic. I'll meet you upstairs. All right. Come on. Is this different again? It is. Granny Holly used to love to sing, didn't she? I never truly understood why exactly. It's been a long time since I've gone into Granny Holly's room. Not that there's anything to see there anyhow. Where's the attic? Is it here? No, this is my room. <gasps> We're sleeping together. <laughs> you left that goat in the granary, I'm hoping. Well, on this, yeah. oh, of course. <laughs> I left the door ajar so you can go out and about if you want. What makes you think you'll say put? <laughs> Why, the bed of... I made him, of course. You gotta see it, Elise. I'm not going out of my way to see a goat's hay bed. Yes, I am. I'll check it out as soon as this conversation ends. Up you go. You need to make your bed, too. Oh. You'll make do, I'm certain. Oh, it's perfect. I'll get you a blanket, too. I can't have you sleeping on hay. Why not? You're not a goat, Rosemarine. <laughs> <laughs> I could be a thief, yet you're trusting me with a blanket? I don't see what's so funny. You truly are kind, Elise. I can see that clearly now. Oh, shush! I'll be glad to take that blanket, Elise. I'll get you some matches, too, and a candle. Thank you, Elise. It's bedtime now. I need some rest. Good night, Rosemarine. Good night, Elise. All right, let's check up on the goat. Check up on the goat. Check up on the goat. I, I ought to have thrown you out a long time ago, lassie. Palms joined in prayer. The wooden statue of Saint Walpurga grants protection to the faithful. Yeah, we're not faithful. Not in the slightest. I want to see the goat bed. Frick. Go bed. Goat bed. Goat bed. Goat bed. Goat bed. Goat bed. Hi, goat. Oh, what am I doing talking to a goat? Alright, we clearly don't care. <laughs> I think it's Bull. I don't think she actually made a bed for the goat. But I'm gonna check it out either way. Go bed. See? There's no goat bed. There's no goat bed. She lied. Are you guys sure we can trust her? You want the goat dead? No! A bed! A bed for the goat! Goat. Alright. Easy pee time. 
Shouldn't our hunger bar have gone up? Uh, after we had lunch, dinner? Rosenmarine ending, here I go. getting myself into. First I agreed to house Rosemarine. Now Miffy's caught wind of it too. I best make sense of all this by tomorrow. If only I could leave this town. Go somewhere far, far from away from here. A place where I'd never have to fret about money or going hungry. Like a castle or a palace. Somewhere. Where I can live the life I deserve. Uh, things are looking funky. Is that dream? Look, there's like eyes and stuff. Oh yeah, this is definitely a dream. And this looks like a pocket mirror. Where am I? Honey, is this quiet. a dream? <gasps> Hello? Huh? Golden girl. Rebirth. That's what I wished for long, long ago. You wanted to be reborn? Some are safe. Some are far, far away. I went through all their trials, gathered all of his... gifts. And? Indeed, I was reborn. My wish was granted yet. Yet? To think I would end up like this. Wait! What was that? Grapes! Can we date the ghost? Oh god! Oh, my sanity went down. Do I have any sanity food? No, we don't. Look at that. So scary, the moon over there on the top left. She tried to be reborn as an idol's child. <laughs> uh, it's so bright, I can hardly see. A blinding warm light pierces through the window's glass panes, cradling the room in a welcoming glow. It's locked, it seems. Oh, and I bet there's something nice inside too. The that ghost girl kind of gave me Coraline vibes. Oh, what I would give to sleep here every night. A suspicious bed stands a spacious bed stands in the corner. There you go. <laughs> it's silky sheets protected by a <clears throat> Sorry. It's silky sheets protected by a counterpane embroidered in gold thread. It's so bright, but there's no flame. An intricately designed golden lamp stands in the bedroom door. It's bulbs shining bright. I feel like I'm in a princess's bedroom. If only I could live here, just like I've always dreamed. <laughs> Be careful. I didn't read that. <laughs> item acquired. Silver key. About using items. The items in your inventory can have effects on the environment. Try using them on it. Okay. What did that say? This is marble, I suppose. Topped with the shiny slab of marble, the round table stands immaculate. I'm locked in here, I suppose. Can't say I mind it too much if I'm honest. Yes, you do. Open it. Oh, it says it over there. Witching hour. Oh. Wait. Silver key. Use. Doesn't seem like this is what I should be using here. What do you mean? It's a door. Oh, it's a chest. Let's see. Oh, goodness! So many dresses! 
Another key? I wonder what it's for. A golden key. Wowie, I wonder. Okay, golden key. Yeah, it's a window, you wanna say that again? <laughs> Such a long corridor. It truly feels as though I'm inside a palace. Yeah, no, this... This has serious pocket mirror vibes. <laughs> Such a strange statue. The marble statue of a serpent wearing a golden crown. Its name... Plate reads... Aziel. Aziel? Such a strange statue. Okay, no, never mind. I don't think... Vril. Vril. Is that what it says? I don't know. I think that's just made up. Aviel? <laughs> Oh no, it's an Aviel reference! Oh my god, is that a freaking Aviel reference? Huh? Ah, come on! Okay! Ah! Calm down, calm down, calm down, Fleo, calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Don't, don't do that, game. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't do that. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> what in the Lord's name is this place? What are those things? Feeling lost? Don't forget to turn your lantern on and keep an eye out. What? 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 They're just lanterns, I suppose. Bandages. They're just lanterns. Are they gonna burn me or something? Oh! <laughs> Alright, don't touch the lanterns, gotcha. Understandable! Your sanity's super low? What do you mean? I'm fine. Oh no. When I touch the red lanterns, they become blue and the blue ones go after me. <laughs> it's no wonder they're wilted being left in such an awful room. A bunch of purple flowers sag lazily over their vase. Phantasm key. It's a key. This is what will get me out of here, I'm certain. Alright, be careful. Is that gonna go up here? I don't think so. There's another chest there. Any food for me? It's jammed. I could try to pry it open, but... Of course it. Phantasm key. Another one? It's a key. This is what will get me out of here, I'm certain. Another key? The same one? Such a big sofa. If only... Upholstered in luxurious blue velvet, the broad sofa rests surrounded by similarly lustrous furniture. Huh. Relax, our sanity's not going down. It's staying the same, right? It's not going down. Right? Right? Oh, frick, I can go over here. Welcome to the members, Stefan Adams. I hope you enjoy the member content. Is there something up there? Oh, wait. These are all in different languages. In a different language. I can't make sense of these titles, of any of these titles. Pardon me for my incapability to read. Incap incapability, incapability, um, hard, 
Breathing hard? Mm. Okay, blue bad. Gotcha. Oh, there's a shiny over there too. Is it gonna be another one of the same key? Probably. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Okay. Oh, it's bandages. Okay, nice. We'll be fine, don't worry about it. Another one. It's a key. This is what will get me out of here, I'm sure. I should probably try actually using the key. It's gone. The door's completely gone. Oh. Okay. Eh. Four keyholes. Okay, alright. Gotcha. Uh we need one more. Which I'm guessing will probably be over here somewhere. Elise is a genius for figuring that one out. She's just like me, for real, for real. Alright. Let's see, where would the last key be? So there's one here. Knock, knock! Hold up. There's another pathway here? That's... me. Wait, no, that's not what I want you to look at. I want you to go to the other side. Okay, wait. We gotta wait for it to go by. It's literally me. <laughs> it's literally, literally me. Oh my god. Can't believe it. It's jammed. Yes, force it open. Ah, it's not a key. What's this? The key to one's dream is found within oneself. As for yours, it's in this very room. The core of your innermost desire. It's not knowledge you seek, but gold-bathed glory. Oh, I don't want to read it again. I don't want... Okay. Yeah, there's no... There's no consequence for just prying them open. I guess it's just to show how Elise is... Okay, no, it's fine. Stop, 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 stop. Elise? Focus. Lore? As someone who kind of... Okay, listen. I was... I was spoon-fed on the story of Pocket Mirror. Because Pocket Mirror itself has a very... Uh, how do I put it? Hard to understand story if I remember correctly. So a friend of mine actually pieced together the whole story. And uh, that's how I kind of know and that's kind of how I'm trying to piece things together. Okay, wait. Please, please, just let me, let me through. So it's really interesting to like... Oh my God, I almost stepped into that. Where would the last key be? Maybe... Maybe over here? Maybe over here somewhere? Uh... Where? Where be?
Check the sofa again? Wait, was there something on the sofa that I just skipped over? the three chests golden is this chest one of the chests didn't have a key <laughs> look between the cushions maybe you'll find a couple coins too <laughs> okay uh, there's something on the back of the shelf I have to reach out my arm to get it but reach for it reach for it this is ah there you go It's a key. This is what will get me out of here, I'm certain. All right, we got all of the four keys. How did, how would anybody ever think of checking that one particular, okay, anyway. Mm, just use all of them. It worked. Where am I? I must be dreaming. Uh oh. No, oh, I'm supposed to control it. It's what she wants the most. Money, luxury. A maid called the Rosen Marine. I run. <clears throat> oh, oh. Hurry now, hurry now. Pumpkin? We're late for his banquet. Banquet? I don't know. What are you? Hurry, hurry! <laughs> yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely, oh my god. It's the pumpkins! Oh my god, okay, this is so cool. Holy, sh holy crap. Oh god, ah! Huh? What? Oh, right, she's starving. <laughs> uh. A dream? Uh. That left me feeling a little queasy. Yeah, and you're also starving. I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> Rosemarine, are you there? She's most likely still asleep anyway. Mm. No point in waking her this early, I suppose. <laughs> Look at the state! Whoops! Whoops! My bad. <laughs> I love the music! <laughs> Uh Well, not my problem. <laughs> okay, fine, just eat bread. God, don't be such a freaking Wait, what the, what does this do? Oh, this gives me hearts back. Ah. All right, I'm going to eat grape. There we go, and I'm gonna eat one bread. There we go. And from now on, we focus on Rose and Marine and we don't waste our money like crazy. 
I mean, we work for food instead of going on dates with girls other than Rosemary. Oh, she's already up. It is. Good morning, Elise. Oh, I would have got a head start on breakfast if I knew you'd be waking up this early. Since when have you been up? <laughs> oh, I'm always up and about before daybreak. I can sleep if I try. In if I try. Hmm. If I didn't notice you coming down from the attic. No, I didn't notice you coming down from the attic. I brought the ladder up with me last night so I wouldn't wake you. And the hatch doesn't squeak if you do it slowly, right? It, I took my shoes off and used the ladder to shut it back up. Easy. <laughs> You're smarter than you look, huh? <laughs> I look as smart as I am, Elise. Is that so? Uh, uh, anyhow, I'm heading off to the garden. The garden? You mean the field just outside? Mm. Is that obvious that I haven't touched it in years? Been working like a dog since Granny Holly passed, but... Now I have to fret about... Now I have you to fret about, too. I can't sit on my hands forever, can I? It is. Elise. Hmm. What? You'd rather starve? Join me as a maid of all work, perhaps? <laughs> you truly are kind, aren't you? Oh, shush! I'm heading out to see what I can do about the garden. I'll call you in for breakfast in a moment, then. Yeah, she clapped back. So cute. <laughs> Yay, we have... Gardening! This is literally Stardew Valley! For goodness sake. I've neglected it for so long, it'll be impossible to dig. <laughs> Anyhow, this is no time to loiter about. What's this? A pair of shoes? How could I possibly have wound up here in my garden? Oh, they're wonderful! And they fit me like a glove too! The shoes... were made for me. I mean, sorry, these shoes. Yes? All of Keefberg needs to hear about this. <laughs> You've got a garden to tend to! Elise! <laughs> Elise, stop! From now on, it's Miss Elise to you! Oh my god, okay, this is cute. I'm done with this thankless struggle. No more being bossed around. Wait, is that the lyrics? I guess. I'm gonna back up so you, don't, so you can see the lyrics. Discover these songs. That was adorable. That was so cute. That was adorable. That was adorable. This was so cute. This was literally the cutest thing. On your feet, Elise. What the frick? This guy has a portrait. He's terrifying. Oh, God. Explain yourself. What is there to explain, Father? Could you not hear yourself, lass? 
parading into Saint Walpurga's place of worship, howling and shouting like a... Please, old Johan. Where's the vagotism, vanity, disdain for your fellow folk? I've always known you were wicked, you arrogant lassie. Jesus! Why, you... A witch! A witch of old holy skin! Oh, listen here, you old wretch! I've heard enough! Old Jahan has overstepped his boundaries. I ask you to pardon him. Yet his concerns weighed heavy, at least. Yeah, she sing that she sang that aloud. <laughs> I wasn't aware singing and dancing was forbidden now, father. <sighs> Your singing was riddled with sin, lass. Vanity and lust go hand in hand with greed. Your What does any of this have to do with sin, father? This old geezer just accused me and my grandmother of witchery yet. <sighs> Enough, Elise. Compose yourself and come inside. Your temperament is a sin in and of itself. No, it's not! I'm just... I'm just a young brat! Let me be a young brat! Very well, father. I'm not going anywhere. Hmm... I don't want to get burned at the stake. Well, I guess I'll repent for something I didn't do if it makes you happy. <sighs> Yet there's something I'd like to make clear to you all. You've stood witness to this foolery. You've all heard old John and accuse me of witchery. Hmm. That's enough, Elise. You asked me to pardon him yourself, father, and I will. Yet I demand you folks understand this once and for all. I am not a mere maid of all work. I am one of you. And I demand right here, right now, do you start treating me as such? Hmm. Very well, Elise. You've made yourself heard. Oh, what the heck? Without a shadow of a doubt, Lass. Huh? At last. He's made his move. Who are you? An old acquaintance of yours, Lass. What? You're favored by him, Elise. Frightfully so. You're clad in his will from head to toe, inside and out. And those shoes... My shoes? Those very shoes, Elise, are a testament of his gift to you. Who is he? Listen carefully now, my beautiful lass. <sighs> Get away from me! Yours is his heritage, his flesh, his ardor. Don't you understand, Elise? <laughs> How do you know my name? His blessing, his will. He himself is writhing in your veins, lass. What do you want from me, you old hag? <laughs> you must listen carefully now, my beloved. Do as I say and he will make all your wishes come true. <laughs> My wishes, you say? Why, yes. Opulence, splendor, fortune. Your deepest desire is unlike any other, Elise. I don't understand. You do, Elise. Tell me what is it you most desire. Me? Speak it, Elise. Mm. What I most desire, that's... Fortune. Fortunate you are. Deep in this woodland, there is a patron saint Whose blissful word bestows a blessing upon the faithful All that's requested in return are three gifts Made from, three, from the testaments to one's desire Rich is dwelling with all these in hand And your wish shall be granted A wound, carrier of life. Your basket is to hold all that is sacred. Okay, so we need a basket. It's basically a wound. 
The tender flesh of earthly desire. Wine, I guess, or grapes. The sweetest nectar to be drunk in its earnest. Wine? Question mark? I don't know. You are to arrive in good company. The object of your affections. A girl. You are to reach the gates of his dwelling, carrying all three gifts. Voice your innermost desire, surrender yourself wholly to his grace. Basically, make a deal with the devil. And fortune you shall attain. For such is his blessing, and such is your desire. Elise! Elise! Are you listening? Yeah, she just needs to sell your soul. Like how I did when I got into Idol. <gasps> huh? Where did she go? Elise. Oh, are you alright, Elise? Where did that old hag go? Elise! Elise! What's the matter with you? Lev Oh, I'm... I'm sorry, Lev. It's best to let her rest for a while. We can sit with you, Elise. Oh, it's best we give her some space, Jacob. Uh, I'm alright. I felt a little dizzy is all. Hmm. I can bring you some water, Elise. <laughs> As for me, I'll be in church waiting to have a word with you. Mm. Don't you start, Leb. Ah! Oh, I've already started. Fine, now you've done it, Elise. Uh. For goodness sake. I guess she just spaced out. Okay. So we need a basket, grapes, wine, I'm guessing. And a girl. Leb? Not Leb. Uh, Rose and Marine will do just fine. Mm. Wait, change of plans? We can't sacrifice... Sacrifice? The hag just basically said to sacrifice whoever you end up dating. No, she didn't. She said to take her. And be accompanied by her. She never said anything about killing. We're not gonna kill her. We're not gonna kill her. She's just gonna take us. Yeah, three gifts. is the basket, the, the wine, and the grapes. She's not the girl. You guys think so? I doubt it. Nothing bad's gonna happen to Rose and Marine, I'm sure. Nothing bad's gonna happen to Rose and Marine! Shut up! <laughs> Lou, welcome to the members. I hope you enjoyed the member content. Ah, there you are, Elise. Oh, well, Joe and Truly went too far. I suppose. There's no need to hold your tongue, lass. That was far from reasonable. Nobody agrees with him. I suppose there comes a time when older folks lose their minds. Now that's a different story, Maria. I wouldn't say... There's no story, Ludwig. Elise was singing and dancing, so what? Truly, old John's outburst was rather distasteful. But I have been meaning to ask where you got those shoes, Elise. Oh, there... You don't have to tell us, Elise. You're right about whatever you s what you said. We all should be treating you a little more res with a little more respect. Oh, but I am awfully curious. I got them in my backyard. They were in a box. I ought to say I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, they're being nice to me. They're sweet. I have the patience to look after this many. Neatly potted vases of all sizes. The many bristling flowers from in clusters. Okay. Oh, Elise, you scared me stiff earlier. I did? It takes a great deal of courage to put those two in their place. You did well, Elise. They're the ones being unreasonable. Mrs. Mechtild. The 
be babbling on and on about it in church, I'd wager. Would you say they'll be wanting a word with me, Mrs. Mechdill? They might. We have nothing to fret about, Elise. I can assure you, not one soul in Keithburg thinks ill of you, my dear. Thank you, Mrs. Mechdill. Besides, the townsfolk are still shaken by that windstorm. I'd say they'll forget all about you and your shoes by the afternoon. Well, I wouldn't be so certain. I wonder what would have happened if you refused to go with Father Hans. Probably my... Not sanity, my... Reputation, the sus thing would go up. And uh, I'd be closer to being burned at the stake or something like that. <laughs> Look, Mama! They're so shiny! You stole those, Elise! Be honest! I didn't steal them, you... Brat! Settle down now, you two. More importantly, are you alright, my dear? Ah, uh, about earlier, I... There's no need to hold your tongue, Elise. I'm glad they're siding with me! The townsfolk made too much of it. That wasn't remotely acceptable. Everyone knows old John's lost his wits. Don't you star, Affel? I mean, but he's right. <laughs> he's kind of right, but I mean... Elise is not bad. Oh, Mama, can I get shoes like that too? You have ugly or feet grown? Jesus! Sibling behavior! <laughs> that I literally don't know anything about because I'm an only child. Mama, I feel being mean again! Did you two see I'm trying to talk to Elise? I'm alright, Mrs. Lisbeth, thank you. You can catch up later, Elise. I'd best go. I gotta have a word with you, Jen. My goats aren't doing so good. Ugger feet! Ugger feet! Have fell! Don't say your sister has ogre feet. Just wait until you two get older. Maybe you'll develop a thing for feet. Maybe you already did. All right. Mm, are the... Oh, I think the place is cleared, actually. Yeah, look. Now we can go over here. All right, wait. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Yeah, you're definitely an only child. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can make the joke of uh, incest is incest because I don't have a sibling. Not everyone's a feet degen like you, Flew. I'm not a feet degen! I, I don't even like feet. Also, I, I read chores as... <laughs> Ah, uh, I need to take my mind out of the gutter. Mmm... Joke quote in quotation mark. What? Sh sh shut up. <laughs> shut up. Puyo, you do have... Be Zip it. Zip it, Lucky Charms. Zip it. Uh... So later we can investigate the notes. Current. Time for work. Alright. Or we can organize a date. But I'm not gonna organize a date with her. Actually, I'm gonna go back to the house and I'm gonna see if Rose and Maureen wants to organize a date. Only for Rose and Maureen! I only wanna have a date with Rose and Maureen. Hi. Hard at work in these shoes, are you? They hardly make a difference, Mr. Guido. Come now, lads, we ought to get to the logging camp. Getting that maple down in one day won't be an easy task. I must say, I'm not confident either. All we need is a little cheer, lad. Get the townsfolk feeling jolly again. There's no shortage of joy in this lass, that's for certain. We all saw you twirling about the village the squares, Ellie's. Never imagined you could sing. Well, that wasn't... A way to keep up the cheerful mood, lass. That's precisely what Keithberg needs the most this week. I suppose... Keep that in mind, Elise. You must share more of that song and dance, you hear? Okay! And yes, those are eyes. <laughs> <clears throat> you brat! Bread, grapes. You brat, you brat, you brat. Hey! Good day, ma'am! I was... I was helping Granny Gretel. Mm, you can't expect me to believe that. It's 
true, I promise. I'll end my auntie's life. Helping with her with what then? Granny Gretel gives me bread whenever I come visit, you see? She asked me to taste all the pies for the festival. Is that so? It is so. It really is so, Elise. You'd best not try Granny's Bre Gretel's patience, Mandy. She's too old for that. It's Muffy. Miffy, Molly, Mubby, it's all the same to me. It's not that silly of a name. Can you give me my... Can you give me my thing back? <laughs> Sacrifice Muffy? Are you mean? Are you, are you, are you for real? She's the best girl. I wonder if she'll be alright on her own. Literally could not care less about your name. Muffy needs a lot of correction, she does. Freaking brat. But she also has very stinky vibes for some reason, I don't know. Alright. I hope I am coming all this way to organize a date with Rose and Marine, and I'm not gonna be met with not being able to organize a date with Rose and Marine. <laughs> Yes! I was right! Ah, Elise, I thought you'd be in town. And I was. Did something happen, Elise? The old folks made a tremendous fuss over my shoes. A fuss? What do you mean? They accused me of being a witch, right in front of everyone. All because I sang and danced my way to Keithburg. Oh, I'll show them how wicked I can be. Elise... I'm losing my wits in this town, Rosmarine. There was that old hag too, and I... I can't wrap my head around it, Rosmarine. I truly can't. An old hag? I'll tell you about it later. I... I'd best head back to work. Say, Elise, won't you meet me here at dusk? I can try, I suppose. I'll make you something hearty for supper, Elise. Some eggs? All the eggs you can get me. Meet Rosemarine in the attic. Okay. Nice. So we got to date with Rosemarine. I'm still gonna talk to the other girls because I want to see what. Actually, no. Okay, I'm not. I'm not. Otherwise, I'm gonna get sad. <laughs> I'm not gonna even plan the dates with the other girls because I'm 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 gonna get sad if I do. All right. All right. This is my Rose and Marine save slot. Best girl. Cute purple hair. Cute soft voice. Can be witty. I like her. Poor Freya didn't get a single date. Listen, she's green. I'm saving best for last. But I can't say that because all of them are nice. I like all of them. I can't say that. I literally can. <laughs> I love them all. I love them all. I bet she can even summon tentacles from her witchy nether. Huh? <laughs> She's not a witch. She just has a funny hat. You have no loyalty. Hey! Listen, my heart's just very big. I gotta share it with all these girls. That's what a player would say, isn't it? Alright, let's do some work. Uh, at dusk. Alright, let's do some work, let's do some work. <laughs> That's a good line, I'm gonna keep that one in. No, don't say it, don't use it. Literally don't. Literally don't, you're gonna hurt people if you do. Yes, Fuyo, is it gonna be you, Clarita, Momo, or who else? <laughs> My heart is big enough for everyone! <laughs> Alright. Let me see, what is over here? I haven't been in this part of town.
This would be for the festival, I wager. Several rolls of fabrics had tucked away to be used for the festival's various dolls and bunting. Hello! <clears throat> I don't even remember who used to live here. In this cozy nook, the old home waits to be consumed by the overgrowth. Wait, no, I mean to talk to the old lady. I want to talk to the old lady, let me... Oh, how dreadful. Look at that windstorm did to our poor alleyways. It did away with a few things, I see. I make too little of it, Elise. I don't know what else there is to say about the windstorm, Mrs. O'Dilly. Most of the townsfolk have already put it behind them, so why can't you? Old Joe is just as concerned as I am last, and for good reason. Ah, oh, here we go again with old John. Ah, that reminds me! I can assure you, Mrs. Odilly, these shoes aren't... Old Wilhelm's making a rosary for my precious granddaughter Gisela, you see. Won't you please go see if it's ready for me, Elise? I, I suppose. Okay, so she doesn't even care about my shoes. <laughs> yeah, let's see if I care for my shoes. A rosary from whom? I, I guess we'll find out. It, can you like... Does it say? Can you re can you like can you repeat that? Because I wasn't exact exactly paying attention. So let me let me end up like Mrs. Mrs. <laughs> Jesus. Guys, I didn't pay attention. What did she ask me? And yes, we just assumed the worst of her. I mean, why wouldn't we? Cause like you know, she seems to be very superstitious. I spent plenty of time repairing the stable roof, that's for certain. Hard at work are you, Elise? As always, Mr. Heinrich. You heard about two gents horses then? Folks are more interested in what happened this morning, Heinrich. What about your horses, Mr. Ugen? I'm getting a couple new ones, is all. Nothing of great importance. I wouldn't put it like that, lad. Horsepower is essential to your business, isn't it? Merchants can't lift a finger without their horses. That's great news, Mr. Rojan. For Kiefberg too, I'll be lending a hand with the preparations. Full of promise, aren't we? Um. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, no, it doesn't say anything over here in the. In the chores. It did not add a marker. That's why that's why I was confused. That's why I was asking her again. It didn't add a marker. I wonder if this does anything to scare birds off. An old shirt and a straw hat mounted on a flimsy wooden structure. Oops. Granny Holly used to have plenty of cabbages in our backyard. Several cabbages have flourished flower flourished in the field, nearly ripe enough to be picked. How do they get their wheat to grow this tall, I wonder? Fully packed and golden, the wheat hit heads sway gently in the spring breeze. I have to remind myself that that's just me skipping <laughs> the text. Ah. Okay, but it was old Willem. Okay, so I have to I have to go check Willem. Okay, gotcha. Stuck them so neatly for Mr. Ugin, and look at them now. In the corner, various bundles of hay have been rigged together in a disorganized pile. <laughs> God, the music is so nice! Left, alleyway, down, keep work in. More wheat. This smell awful. Many blemished, discolored, and wrinkled apples wait to be fed to the livestock. Okay. I'm just exploring. We haven't seen this area yet. Some of these aren't looking so good. Several rows of beets. Some of them looking rather withered and dry. I love all, all the flavored texts, guys. <laughs> Say, Mr. Willem. Mrs. Odile, oh, here he is, okay. Mrs. Odile asked me to see about her rosary. 
Ah, that old hag can give me a moment of peace. Oh, I suppose. Tell her she can come back by my workshop this afternoon, will you? I'll wrestle her up with Rosary no time at all. I thought you were making her a new one. In a way, lass. Haven't you heard of repurposing? <laughs> That'll be the best Rosary she's ever seen. Huh. Maybe then she'll stop nagging me. <laughs> this old dude couldn't care less about her rosary, goddamn. Alright. I go tell. I go tell her. Oh, Mrs. O'Dilly! They have a talented writer on staff. They do. They do. The musicians, the artists, they're all really, really skilled. In this cozy nook, the old home waits to be consumed by the overgrowth. No, wait. I want to talk with the old lady. <laughs> Mr. Willem says you can come by his workshop this afternoon, Mrs. Odilly. Oh, I'm about to hear that, dearie. Old Willem has a way with these kinds of things, doesn't he? I suppose, yes. Grape juice, aka wine. What's this? It makes me feel at ease, lass. I think it might come in handy. Thank you, I suppose. It's wine. At least I think it's wine, right? Grape juice is wine, right? <laughs> right? No, Fuyo, fermented grape juice is wine. Ah. Okay. Alright, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Understandable. I just, I don't think I've had grape juice. Have I? The only grape juice I've had was wine. Hence, hence why. Fuya, did you think eating grapes got you drunk too? Doesn't? <laughs> like, like if we squeeze them? No. Well, make fun of me all you want. At least, at least I, at least I asked. I remember seeing a snake or two hiding in this hay not long ago. Stacked with hay and firewood, keep for stables house much as much of the town's livestock. Mm, it's horses and piggies. There's no way this isn't a bit. Yeah, it's totally a bit. <laughs> I know everything about wine. I mean, every Portuguese person, <laughs> I mean, Leprechaun from Leprechaun Land knows everything about wine, right? Yeah, totally me, I do. <clears throat> Granny Holly took me down to the lake once, I remember. Carved deep into Valley Skeepberg's lake spreads out between the hills. <laughs> Fuyo's terminal, guys. Okay, acquired one toy horse. Wait, isn't this for the little girl? It might be. It might. If it wasn't for Granny Gretel, I'd have to make my own bread every other day. A workbench sits outside, typically used to buy the townsfolk of Keepwork to bag newly milled and flour. Okay. Wouldn't it be dangerous to go inside of the windmill with the things going over the door? <laughs> It's locked, I suppose. Ah, Raz, thank you so much for the gifted membership. Thank you. It's not like I make my own bread. I don't need to get in here. Okay. And also, I hope Everfall enjoys the content for the members. <laughs> okay, uh... Look, she gets tiny. She gets tiny, and then she gets bigger. Huh. Okay, hold on. Let me just go check up on the kid. 
Which I think was over here? This, I think this... Was this what she lost? It wasn't remotely acceptable, huh? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 uh... Uh Simple wooden toy horse, its wheels are now loose and rattly. Could be sold for some change. But doesn't it belong to the girl? It doesn't seem to be working, huh? I could sell it! But but does this belong to somebody? Ah Russ, thank you so much for the five gifted membership, thank you. meant to click the, the other lady uh whoops my elise look at these shoes red truly does look best on you elise listen i'm gonna still interact with it because it's still text <laughs> i just i'm just not gonna go on the date red truly does look best on you elise why thank you well you have to wear them to the festival elise now is the time to find yourself a proper suitor elise Ah, that's precisely what we were chatting about with Freya. Freya? Tell them I'm gay. Uh, oh, yes! Aren't I a little too young to be looking for a husband? Why? The sooner the better, I'd say. <laughs> Flashbacks to my grandma. Oh, God. It's not exactly what I'd like to be doing with my time, if I'm honest. Just old enough to look for a wife. <laughs> I used to feel the same way until I met Finn. You'll see. I'd say Freya's got a good chance of meeting at her future husband soon. Well, Mrs. Brunhild, I wouldn't say I'm... Straight. You're quite the catch, isn't she, Dorothea? Oh, well, Freya is the catch. Ah, uh, in truth, I... I do feel the same as Elise. My interests lie elsewhere, you see? Oh, you don't mean... Sewing! And I have my hands full with the festival. This really isn't the time. <laughs> well, that reminds me. Would you come and meet me by the well today at dusk, Elise? Sorry, Frey, I've got a date with another girl. But maybe on a different timeline. I promise I will. Oh, uh... Yes, I suppose. Girls these days, huh? You two will come around, I'm certain. Something like that. Uh. Hi. Wait, before that... Let me see. So that one also has a task. What are these talking about? Ah, if it's not the last of the moment. Tell us all about those shoes, why don't ya? What about them, Mrs. Wilma? What about them, she says? Out with it, lass. We're losing our minds here. You two-faced old hags! <laughs> They're granny holies. Uh... <laughs> no! <laughs> you two-faced old hags. <laughs> Trying to drag my name through the mud as always, aren't you? It was a legitimate question, lass. A little too secretive, aren't we? Just a pair of shoes, Elise, you can tell us. I found them under Granny Hole's bed this morning. Huh? This simply can't be true, Elise. Oh, I knew you wouldn't believe me, even if I told you. I should have known you were wanting to ridicule me. Why, we did no such thing, Elise. You're the one lying to our faces, lassie. I was not lying, Mrs. Berta. That's all right, ladies. The truth will come out sooner or later. I hate these bitches. I hate them. Freak you! Freak you! Freak you! I hate all of you! All three of you suck ass! A little too secret theme. Seems like lesbian behavior. Why <laughs> <laughs> say it like that? <laughs> all right. What's downstairs? Oh, fish! It's a fish! Look, fish! Fish! How many afternoons did I spend here washing his folks' clothes, I wonder? Keepberg's washing well. A statue of a fish stands in the center. 
cute. I'm gonna need to rate to lower my suspicion again somehow. Possibly by doing tasks for them. Mrs. Wilma got a whole shed for herself, and yet. Fashioned out of an old barrel, the rickety cart rests cradling a couple of worn out buckets. How would you guys say I'm faring in saying all of these fancy words? Maybe my vocabulary will get more diverse after finishing this game. What do you think? <laughs> Maybe I'll start speaking like this. What fancy words? Rickety? That sounds like a fancy word. <laughs> So pretty as I'll shut up. <laughs> Elise! Mama won't let me chop wood for her. Don't be silly, Jacob. You're much too young to handle a hatchet. Can you get us some wood for the earth, Elise? Earth, hearth, earth, heart, heart, hurt, hurt. I still I forgot I forgot how this word is said. I forgot how to say this word. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Wait, which one is the easiest, actually? It's alright, Elise. Let me know if you change your mind. That means I can do it for you, Mama. That means no, Jacob. Good grief. Uh, harp. Harp? Harp? Hoof? <laughs> it would be easier to count the amount of words you pronounce it right. Shh! No! Stop fooling me. That was quite the show there, Lassie. Come now, Lorelei. I need the leaves to lend me a hand. What is it, Mrs. Marlene? I was hoping you'd pick me some apples today, Elise. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna pick her some apples. You can leave it to me, Mrs. Marlene. Won't you get your shoes all dirty, Elise? I'll be fine, I'm certain. How many apples do these folk need, anyhow? Of course. Oh no. <laughs> Feel sorry to say, but I wonder if you'll manage to say Lev Kuchin was correctly before finishing the game. Okay, wait. Am I saying it wrong? Am I saying it wrong? Have I said it wrong all this time? How do you say it? Lev. Lev Kuchin. Lev Kuchin. How do you say it then? You guys have been letting me say it wrong. Lev Kuchin. Oh, Lev Kuhn! Lev Kuhn! Lev Kuhn! It's pronounced lesbian Kuhn! <laughs> the Kuhn part is a problem. Okay, Lev Kuhn! Lev Kuhn! <laughs> Silent K? Lev Kuhn? Lev Kuhn! Like that? Genuinely trying my best. <laughs> we'll let the German Google say lip. Okay. Okay. You know what? Okay. All right. Google Translate. <laughs> okay. Lip, lip, go ahead. To German. German, German. Right. Wait, frick. Eh! German, German, German. <coughs> uh, sorry. All right, here he goes. Listen. Lebkuchen. 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 Like that? Lebkuchen. I'm just gonna call her Leb. <laughs> I might I might just call her Leb. Lebkuchen. Lebkuchen. Alright, anyway. <laughs> Thank you. I'll try my best. I'll try my best. Mmm. Lebkuchen. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna catch all of these apples. <laughs> Oh my god, it's the freaking the freaking game from Yumaniki. It'll be easy. Oh, it's 
like a it's like a machine. Oh, it's the layout of this is really cool. Ah, these are rotten. Okay, gotcha. Try again. That's the best I can do. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> ah, this will do nicely for your trouble, Lilies. Thanks. Now I can afford food. Surely you could have done a little better than that. Well, then you could have done it yourself. It's the shoes I wager. If you say so, Mrs. Laurelay. <sighs> Right? Ah, oh, goddammit. Uh, I thought I'd never find you, Elise! <laughs> what now, Missy? It's your... I don't have food for you! Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> but Elise... It's your... My what? Your friend! <laughs> the last with the funny hat. She's right outside. <laughs> okay, that's cute. That's so cute. That's so cute. Take me to her, Molly. Right now. What the fuck is she doing? Oh. Oh, no. My, you're covered in dirt, lass. Uh, I don't... Uh, I'm... She's so funny looking. Look at her silly hat. Angelica, don't be rude. Do you know this last Lisbeth? I know At least says she's from Primmeldorf. Dorf. I'm trying. <laughs> oh, I'm not from Primmeldorf. I've never had a. Why? Well, I haven't the faintest idea, Arian. Uh, I know. I'm looking for Elise. Have you seen her? Elise? Do you know her? We do happen to know Elise, but how do you know her, lass? Ah, Elise said she, she's adopted. What? Muffy, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Muffy, shut the frick up! Can you keep your mouth shut? When did you hear about all this? Did we? Did we tell her this? Is she making this up? Well, if you please tell me where. Look, Mama, she has a tiny scarecrow! She's a tiny scarecrow! <laughs> yes. Forgive me, but does anyone know where I can find Elise? She's making it up on the spot. <laughs> I don't know if she's trying to help or if she's trying to screw me over. Rosemarine! Elise! Elise! Oh, she's so cute! What are you doing here, you? So you do know the last, Elise. <laughs> ah, yes, she's... Think, Elise, think. Elise, whatever you say, shut the freak up. Shut the freak up. Muffy already made up her own story. Oh, my God. <laughs> A distant cousin from Primaldorf. Why you don't have cousins, Elise? 
I do recall old Ollie's mother has a sister, but I never met her. Yes, exactly. Rosemary in here is my aunt's granddaughter. Ah, uh, 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 it's Rosemary. Well, I'm so oh, so very pleased to meet you, Rosemary. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Anyhow, it's getting quite late. Uh, we'd best move long before. Also, I love her little smile with like a single blush. It's a nice touch. Ah, uh, but to tell me, dear. How long have you known you had a cousin? Granny Holly told me about her. I met her this Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Be honest. <laughs> this is all very much new to me as well, you see. My, I must say that's rather strange, Elise. Oh, why did I say that? Should not lie? How did you know to find Elise last? Oh, I... In truth, I... Uh, we... We've exchanged letters before. Auntie knew who lived in Keithburg. Uh... Uh... Auntie knew who lived in Keithburg? <laughs> That's all Rosemary knew when she came about to meet me, right? Ah, yes! Yes, she never visited, did she? Well, my auntie was... Uh, of rather fragile health, you see? I do remember old Holly mentioning her family from Primaldorf, but... I must have heard it from someone, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Ah, most certainly. <laughs> from whom? Stop being so nosy! Old Holly never left Keithburg after settling down and... I say her family was rather distant. Ah, oh, this is quite confusing, isn't it? Ah, <laughs> oh, wouldn't you look at the time? Hi. Uh, I think I know what you mean, Elise. That's all right, you two. We wouldn't want to keep you. It's a pleasure to meet you, Rosemary. Mm -hmm. She's delighted to meet you all. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be burned at the stake. I'm gonna be burned at the stake so badly. And so is Rosemarine. We're both gonna be burned at the stake. I need to eat. I'm gonna buy some more bread. Rosemarine! Hold your horses, I need bread. I'm literally starving. And I don't wanna just have zero, because if I have zero and Muffy comes along, she's gonna strip me of my food. Let go ahead. All right, I'm buying. Oh, I can buy a gingerbread. Oh, this takes like three food. Nice. Mm. I'm gonna buy like three. Yeah, that sounds about right. Thank you. No, I'm I'm good. All right. I'm gonna eat bread. Eat. Eat. Okay. What does the grape juice do again? Oh, it increases my sanity. If I'm absolutely about to die, I'm gonna get it. Well, if it's absolutely about to deplete. Wait. <coughs> ah, sorry. Let me just. Okay, it's good. Mm. Ah, my nose. Mm. I think this is good for now. Alright, Rose and Marina, we need to have a talk. Why are you here? Have you completely lost your wits, Rosmarine? I'm sorry, Elise. I knew you had a bird's nest for a brain, but this is too much. Don't be so mean to her. Uh, well... You know what you did. I'm sorry, Elise. I didn't mean to. I was chasing after Flock, you see? 
For goodness sake, Rosmarine. Why not let him frolic about? That's what the goats do. Uh, I know. He, he took the laundry I was standing through right out of my hands. <laughs> Couldn't let him ruin your sheets. Next time, let him. All right, well. Truth is, we made a complete mess of it. I don't even want to think about Father Hens' reaction. Uh, I'm sorry, Elise. I didn't mean to trouble you. Forget it, Rosmarine. It's all right. Oh, wait. Didn't we have to go talk to the guy? I got distracted. I'm telling you, it's fine, Rosmarine. I feel all I've done so far is trouble you. Which isn't a complete lie now, is it? Yet, I do enjoy your company, so... Elise. Anyhow, we ought to keep our story straight. Maybe if we tell them I came to lend you a hand with work. That's it, Rosmarine. Huh? All right, listen carefully. Your grandmother is Granny Hall's auntie. The one that never came to visit. That makes you my distant cousin of sorts. You see? Hi. Yes. You came about to meet me, but... We could have simply bumped into each other. And you asked me if I knew anyone named Holly. I don't understand, Elise. How does that relate to what I said? <laughs> Why, you like Keefwork so much you wanted to stay and lend a hand. Oh! You're a kind, charitable, loving soul who wants to help with the festival. That'll keep them from asking too many questions, I'd wager. <laughs> I think that's a great idea, Elise. Yeah. This being said, Rosemarine, you're going home right after nightfall. You hear? I don't want you hanging about these folks too much. Hi. All right, Elise. They're gonna taint my perfect wife, servant, maid, girl. Yes. We're making it happen. It happen right now. Then let's go. Hi. Yes. And she just disappeared. She's an actual witch. All right, great. <gasps> Party talk. We must be careful, Rosmarine. These folks are all nosy and ill-tempered. I do not want to make this situation any worse, understood? Yes, Elise. I'll be good, you see. <laughs> Keep close to me, alright? Of course. I wouldn't want I wouldn't know what to do by myself, so let's see how this goes. It'll be fine, Elise. We're in this together. Which just so happens to be the problem. Alright. Let me see. I definitely missed something here for sure. Hello? Hi! Wife, meet my other wife! Ah, but who is this, Elise? That look on their face means trouble, I can tell. Ah! Oh, good day! This is my cousin Rosmarine, Lepkohen. A cousin? My cousin, yes. She's a distant cousin from Primaldorf. Related to Granny Holly's auntie, you see? Is my lying that bad? <laughs> no, 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 stick to the story, Elise. Ah, no, she can tell, she can tell, she can clearly, she can tell. Keep it together, it's all in your head. I'm here for the festival. It's a pleasure to meet you, Rosemarine. I am Lepkohen. Oh, it's Rosemarine, actually. I fell into the habit of calling her Rosmarine. A habit. Oh, uh, not a habit. I didn't mean to call it. Has Elise shown you about the town yet, Rosemarine? Ah, not yet. I only got here on Saturday and we've been at home mostly. Saturday. I didn't mean to introduce you to. Uh, this is awkward. I have no doubt, Elise. She knows. It's no use. She sees right through me. <laughs> I spend most of my time here, Rosemarine. You know where to find me. Ah, thank you, Miss Lepkohen. Oh, Lepkohen is fine. Don't let Elise work you too hard, you hear? Very funny, Lev. Well, that was the most awkward introduction I could have done. But that's fine. She's rather sharp, isn't she, Elise? It's a pain, that's what it is. <laughs> I want to assume, but... What is it, Rosmarine? Look, who has a talent for figuring things out, doesn't she? Yes, she does. 
I must say, she's a little intimidating too. Really? It's probably just because I don't know her. <laughs> I wanna date them both. Uh, uh, I want it above. <laughs> ah, uh, uh. Okay. Focus. Focus, Fuyo. What are we doing? Head back to work. Help Pugin with the chickens. Play Kiss the Rat with the kids. Can I play that? What is that? <clears throat> also, wait, didn't I? Wait, Frick, I think I'm still missing something. I still am still... I, I had to meet the, 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 the church guy, right? Is he, is he at the top? No. I guess I'm, I missed it or I didn't have to. I don't know. Kiss Rune. <laughs> oh, Rune, where are you at? Where am I? Oh. I freaking love the environment. I know I'm not saying to anything about it, but it's because if I if I said something about it, I'd be gushing about it all the time. Because literally the whole game is so pretty. Rosen Marine can help. You can bring her along to help you with tasks and get better rewards. <gasps> awesome! Let's play with the rat or something. Never mind. Okay, hold on. Give me a moment. Goodness gracious, Elise! There's no need to make such a fuss, Freya. Oh, it's such a pleasure to meet you. My name's Freya. I'm a friend of Elise's here in Keithburg. Oh, I'm um Rosemarine. Rosemarine, don't fall for Freya. Please. <laughs> stop, stop stuttering. What a wonderful name, Rosemarine. Freya, stop trying to seduce my wife. It's nice meeting you, Freya. She's my cousin, Freya, from Primal, Prim, Primal Dorf. I'm never gonna be able to say this correctly. <laughs> from Primal Dorf? Well, you simply must come and dance with us. Ah, of course, Freya. Everyone keeps talking about this festival. I'm very much looking forward to it. There's so much to show you, I can't wait. Oh, I know. Why don't you two come uh, come have dinner tonight? Tonight won't work, Freya. She's lending me a hand at home tidying Granny Ho Holly's old bits to be in pieces. Oh, that's quite all right. It's such a shame, though. I very much appreciate the invitation, Freya. Of course, you're welcome anytime. Tell me if you need anything, both of you. Don't work yourself into the ground now. You too, Elise. Shut up. I will say things wrong all I want. <laughs> now that is a face we have not seen before. Ah, Mr. Gustav, this is my cousin, Rosemarine. It's Rosemarine. <laughs> Please tell it, say it correctly. You know what? I realize how hypocritical that is of me. <laughs> Given the fact I can say the name of her childhood friend. A cousin? I had no idea you had family besides old Holly, Elise. I do recall old Holly had a nod somewhere, someplace near Primaldorf. Pr Primdorf. Primaldorf. Something. <laughs> I'm trying my best. <laughs> Welcome to Keithburg, lass. I do hope you stay for the festival. Ah, yes, I will. I must say, I'm rather taken aback, Elise. It's not that much of a surprise, is it? As if I'd even bother lying to you folks. Why is one question red and the other one is yellow? I get the feeling that the yellow one is the correct one. As if I'd even bother lying to you folks. Yeah, that's, that's that doesn't sound suspicious at all, so... Rosemarine's a distant cousin. That's all there is to it. Old Holly never spoke of her extended family, in fact. Ah, my grandmother was rather... You're more than welcome in Kiefer Glass. Don't be so naive, lad. And you shouldn't be such a pain in people's... Why don't we leave it at that, folks? Your cousin's just arrived, Elise. Why don't you show her around town? If the last truly is her cousin, Gustav. 
Oh, I'll throw in a well, you... <laughs> oh, man. That would be enough, Elise. Ah, it was a pleasure reading your book. <laughs> he's a jerk. And he's also right. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Okay, I have to be aggressive to this guy all the time. I'm. Oh boy. Okay, hold on. How do I see my suspicion again? Oh, we need to lower that. Okay, we we're gonna we're gonna go for Rosenmarine. I have to constantly remind myself of that. Wait, can I? Folks are starting to get ready for the festival, I suppose. I wish they didn't leave everything piled up right in the middle of town, though. Fleo, mm. if you save before doing the job, can you load if you fail instead of paying? Uh, I guess I can. But that would take more time, I feel. I'm just gonna bear the consequences of my actions, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not gonna save scum. There's the famed cousin. We heard all about her from Arian. Allow me to introduce you, Mr. Finn, Mr. Mr. Guido. This is my cousin, Rosemary. Ah, it's a pleasure to meet you. Just in time for the festival, aren't you, lass? Ah, I've been hearing all about it. Make certain you make the most of it while you're here. Rosemary's gonna be helping me with work all week. Making your cousin work for her stay, Elise. Doesn't surprise you when Elise does it. No, Elise is very kind. It was a joke, class. Oh. You're very welcome in Kiefberg, Rosmarine. It's Rosemarine. It's time we go, Rosemarine. We have much <laughs> Elise, she literally just told you her name. Alright. Oh boy, okay. Hi. Oh, how dreadful. You're making a bigger deal out of this than an Iwata. Old Odili. Odili? What now? Odili here has got wind of your cousin, Elise. <sighs> I literally just read the char for you. Can't you be nice to me? Heard you're from Primaldor, Flas. Ah, yes, from a nearby village, in truth. And you are. She's the granddaughter of Granny Holly's auntie, Mr. Mrs. Odili. Mrs. Odili. You've heard of her, I'm certain. I suppose. Old Holly did spend quite some time in Primaldorf, from what I recall. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I must say, I'm still trying to figure out exactly how you two met, Elise. We met by chance. Ah, but that's quite different from what you... Rosemarine's granny told her about me long ago, you see. Yes, I came here in hopes of finding my relatives. We bumped into each other by the crossroads last Saturday. She asked me if I knew of someone named Holly. Now that's a story worth telling, lass. Ah, I see. Did you hear that, old all daily? There's no need to fret. All right, well, welcome to Keithburg, I suppose. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. Okay. Can't you give me a little bit of... Sus back? Uh, I don't want to be so suspicious. I don't want to be burned at the stake. I don't want to be burned at the stake. I don't want to be burned at the stake. Hi. Ah, there they are. Your cousin, is it? It's a pleasure to meet you. She came all the way from Primaldorf. 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 That's a long way from here. I am saying this word differently every single time. It's incredible. Ah, truly. I was thinking of asking you to collect me some eggs, Elise. <gasps> More eggs. What if I... Gee, no. Give me a moment. So much to show Rosemary and you see. You do get along rather well, don't you? That's alright, Elise. Take your time. Ugh. This is not gonna go well. I can see like 13 different ways that this can go sideways. And all of them involve being burned at the stake. Uh, 
Let me talk to her. I guess I can trust her. I can. Okay. I want eggs, but at the same time, I want to see the other mini games. I want to try all the mini games, even though that's like bad for me, because uh, I'm gonna be trying something from scratch every time. So you weren't lying, Melly. I, I told you. I, I know what I saw. What did you tell these two, Melissa? <laughs> ah, maybe it's best we don't deny her, Elise. You know, I realized, I realized that Elise is being literally like you guys. You can spell my name correctly. It's Fio, it's Fuyo, it's Fufu. What else is there? <laughs> Everything but Fuyo. You shush it, Rosmarine. It's Fugu Fumo. Ah, <laughs> uh, won't you and your cousins play Kiss the Rat with us, Elise? Ah. Sure. We can play with you, I suppose. All game? You stay close to me, Rosemarine. I'll go call Grun. Gross, I don't want this stinky rat anywhere near me. Okay, how does this work? Wor this game work? It's the rat. Blue pass, yellow pass. I have to retry that. No, I have to retry that. I have to retry that. I have to retry that. No, freak! I pressed the wrong button! I wanted to retry. I pressed the wrong button. It's a tie, huh? Grun left already, but you can have this. It's from the two of us. Spending your allowance? Oh, I feel bad for taking it. Well, I don't. I've had it with this game. Ah, <laughs> oh, that hurt. Oh. <laughs> Dr. Weasel, welcome to the Clover Chats. I hope you enjoyed the member content. It. It's best you head on home now, Rosmarine. Folks have had enough of you for one day. <laughs> oh, it was so much fun, Elise. If you say so. <laughs> I'll see you at home then. Hey, bye bye. Alright, romantic. Th what is that? I saw Muffy sting on my forehead. I gotta have a date with Rosemarine. I saw... I saw a thing. A summer child with you, you know good anyhow. And you, Elise? 
What about me, Mrs. Brun Brunhild? Old Holly brought her to Kiefberg in the summer, I believe. She told me I was born a few weeks after the summer solstice. How are you to know when you were born? Or any Holly ought to have known, Mrs. Lorelei. You were adopted, to be fair, but... Ah, uh, but weren't you brought here as a baby? She was, so I suppose old Holly couldn't have been wrong. I can't say it's very polite of you to be discussing such things. I'm sorry, Elise. I was asking them about the townsfolk. With my baby coming and everything... She's pregante. My, you always take everything so seriously, Elise. Oh, that windstorm has a dreadful was a dreadful thing. I see we're still blabbering on about the windstorm. Tell me about it, Elise. Are you two out to take this very seriously. Old Stefan warned us on his deathbed, no less. That's why we can't trust his word, old Jahan. Old Stefan passed too, too early, that's what. Let old Stefan rest. Not this ridiculous nonsense again. Let old Stefan rest, I'm gonna say that. What was it he said it was so important anyhow? Nonsense, Elise, that's what. You foolish folks will never learn. It's only natural you don't know, Elise. You were young. Old Stefan warned us of the arrival of the witch, no less. That Kiefberg would undergo many trials. That we would all... Ah, oh, for goodness sake. You're starting to sound like Elise, Marlene. What's that supposed to mean? You... It's best we walk away last. So these old folk will never learn. Suspicion down. <gasps> Thank you! Thank you for downing my suspicion by just one! I was afraid. I was terrified. What is this? Why am I getting a Muffy symbol? What is the Muffy symbol for? Ah, there she is! Okay, how much food do I have? I have grapes and I have bread. All right, you friggin' frick. What do you want? Konogaki! <laughs> Konogaki! She wanted the pretzel for you. Frick. How did you know? It's you. <laughs> it's pretzel time, Elise. Ah! Ah, spare me, Maggie. Mm, I waited all day, Elise. You promised me a pretzel. I promised you no such thing. Ah, she literally asked you for... No, she didn't! She didn't! I'm telling Father Hands then just do wait... No, wait! Good luck with that, Mindy. I've already introduced her to everyone myself. Oh, my poor beggar cousin, Rosmarine. I felt right for it, every single one of... Elise, no! Uh, she's not your cousin? Elise, shut the frick up! Elise. She's worse than me, you know what? I think Elise and I, we share a brain cell. That's it, we just do. Golly, Elise, if I fell for it. <laughs> no, 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 you've got it all wrong. What I meant was... I'd best go let all those folk know, huh? <laughs> oh, if only you'd give me a pretzel. Ah, oh, frick you. I don't have one. I don't have one. I'm not yielding to your petty threats, Millie. You keep your wretched mouth shut or I'll throw you in the well. Uh, so You're so mean, Elise. It's just a pretzel. Yeah, it's pretzel pretzels like 30, 30 coins. Uh, keep pestering me and I'll get even meaner. Best give me some grape juice tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow grape juice. I'm giving her grape juice tomorrow. So I can drown you in it. Got you. Got it. <laughs> mm. Best make certain I keep some aside for her tomorrow. Uh, pretzels was 12. Okay, alright. Alright, I won't forget. We have some, right? We have some grape juice. 
Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> and back down, go to sus level. Oh, dude. Hi. Elise was it? Yes, that's me. Uh, okay, so I'd like to buy some more grape juice because I'm pretty sure I might need it for sanity's sake. Matches. Actually, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get four matches just because I accidentally wasted a couple earlier. Are you sure that's all, sweetheart? I could sell the toy, but at the same time, what if the toy is important? <laughs> what if the toy is important? I. I'm gonna keep it, just in case. Hoarder? So what? <laughs> oh, shit, no. No, 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 don't quit, don't quit, don't quit. Just... Grape. Grape juice. Just take one. Oh, that does not up it by a lot. I need to make more money. <laughs> but first, I need to go on a date. What is up with you guys? Let's go home, Apple. Mama told us we ought to be home before nightfall today. The sun's still high, Groom. Stop whining. You ought to listen to your mother, Apple. I don't want to go home yet. Apple? It seems Mrs. Lisbeth is in a bit of a temper today, Elise. Mrs. Lisbeth is in a temper? Mrs. Dorothea was also in a temper. That's because you refused to read, Apple. You and I read better than you. No, you don't! Liar! Groon? Why is she named Green One? <laughs> yeah? Astral Shift? Why is she named Green One? <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> That's really cute. It's the green. It's just green. We got Apple and the green. The green apple. <laughs> I do too, I do too. You're the one who's best at reading, aren't you, Jacob? And with numbers too. Oh no, he's into numbers. Ah, you ought to lend those two bird brains a hand, you hear? I think Jacob just means Jacob. Leave Elise, you're ugly. <gasps> you bastard. <laughs> ugly, ugly. Freaking brats. Brats, all of you. Hi. That's a good problem to have, lad. Is everything all right, Mr. Gustav? Eugene here will have his end started with his business all week. It's a matter of when we're to do it, truth be told. The horses will need some rest, that's for certain. For all we know, we might have to pull those carts ourselves. I best make certain I keep busy tomorrow then. You need to feed up on a lot more pig roast before you'd be carrying even a single log. He's right, Elise. You ought to make sure you're keeping yourself healthy. I'm stronger than I look, Mr. Ojin. Old age doesn't wait for anyone, Elise. Eat plenty and don't work yourself into the ground, you hear? Okay. I'm gonna save on another file. I think I'm doing terribly. I think I think I'm doing terribly, I'll be honest. Mm, what is up here? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> uh You're not doing amazing, that's for sure. <laughs> Shut up. Hi. On your way home, Elise? Not yet, Mrs. Linda. Say, have you got any cheese or milk from Lisbeth? No, I haven't. Her goods have fallen ill, you see. 
She stopped by earlier to take back the cheese I got from her. Said it's best we don't eat it. Oh, I see. Lord knows what's wrong with her goats. It's gonna be story important. Well, I wouldn't forgive myself if my boys fell ill. I'm certain, Mrs. Elizabeth. Didn't mean any harm, Mrs. Linda. Of course not, Elise. What a thing to say. These things happen, but... You see? No, I don't think I do, Mrs. Linda. I often wonder if Lisbeth's husband was still with us. Mrs. Linda. Oh, I know, I know. Let's pretend I didn't say that, Elise. Alright. You're doing your best. Where's your cousin? Headed home already? She's had her fill of Keefbergs for one day, is all. Heaven sent Elise, that's what she is. It's not every day you discover a cousin, is it? I must say, I'm glad you're no longer on your own, lass. Ah, I suppose you're right, Mr. Finn. Of course he is right, Elise. Family is what mo what's most important. Alice will have cheer, aren't you? That's what logging does to you. Working with Gustav is what keeps us in good spirits, I'd say. The lad has had more sh more... Has more ah! The lad has more cheer than all of Kiefberg and Primal Dwarf com well, combined. You must run in the family, wouldn't you say? Freya could very likely run the festival all by herself, don't you agree? Logging included, no doubt. I'd wager she could carry an entire cart of logs all the way to Kiefberg. What is she, a horse? Yes. Yes. She might. These are all old requests from Mrs. Mariel. I suppose some of the townsfolk still gather here, even though she has moved across the street. I'm just taking in the scenery. His brain. Okay, is there anybody here that can help me? Unraise my suspicion because everybody is suspicious of me and I don't know if it's because they think I'm a lesbian or if they think I'm a, a witch I I literally, literally have no idea. <laughs> I think it's a bit of both mm, Nobody okay All right, sure both both okay <laughs> All right, as all right, you're fine. It's a metaphor Damn, they're smart. It's definitely both. The game's clever about it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I have to say, I'm re I really, I really like how the game is written, for sure. Anyway, let's go on a date. I keep getting distracted. <laughs> I mean, are all lesbians not also witches? I wish. Could have sworn your cousin was meant to be helping Elise. She's passing time until I need her, Mr. Ludwig. We're bracing ourselves to go on patrol, lass. Make sure you're home before then, you hear? They'll have each other on their way up to the peaks from now on. Lads. Truly, there's no need to worry, Mr. Bernard. You wish? Yeah, how cool would it be? <laughs> I'm glad that's the case, Elise. We must look after each other. Of course, Mr. Ludwig. Still can't say I'm looking forward to going on patrol every night. Every night? Folks need some peace of mind, lass. Ah, I see. Alrighty. <laughs> Remember when you were that excited enthusiastic about dating us, Will? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Is the door open again? No, it's not. Hmm. Oh yeah, we gotta make sure that we check the windmill as well. <laughs> Why are you crying? Why are the lucky times crying? Why are the lucky chums crying? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Why 
Good lucky charms crying. What is that pouty phrase? <laughs> what? 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 What, what is this about me not loving the lucky charms? What is this nonsense? Huh? What gives you that idea, huh? <laughs> oh, it's still closed. Hmm. I guess that's for later. What do you mean? We're always crying. You know what? Fair point. I'm not just crying. I'm crying while eating a banana. <laughs> there, there, lucky charms. There, there. There, there. You're okay. <laughs> Such cute lucky charms. Hmm. You're pulling my tongue. You want me to tell you I love you very much, don't you? Do you need constant reassurance? Is that it? Is that it, Lucky Charms? Huh? Is it, is that it? You need me to tell to tell you. Oh, I love my Lucky Charms. They're so funny, and I enjoy spending time with them. And it's true. <laughs> there, there you have it. What? <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm gonna save again. I know I already saved it back there, but this is closer. All right, Rosa Marine, before I go and check you out, I am gonna check the goat. Because I do not trust the goat. See? The goat is gone! Where's the goat? He's gone! Wait, is that the goat? I heard a bat. Where's our reassurance kit? <laughs> now I don't feel like it. Now, now I don't feel like it. If, if you're asking for it, I don't feel like it. I did that. Me? Puh. Didn't she say it ran away? Well, that's true, but I would expect it to be back. Right? Mm. Goat stole your blanket. <laughs> she hates us after all. I don't! Why would I hate you guys? That's that's such a dumb idea. What the frick? Mm. Okay, Fuyo, think. You can probably not find the goat, so let's let's go talk with Rosemary. Kiss, please. Well, you first. Frick. You first. You give the kiss first. You can stop now, you can stop now. Ha! Stole a kiss! Ha! I stole a kiss from the lucky charms! What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it? I gotta kiss her the lucky charms without having to give anything back. Da 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 da. All right, it's time for a date <laughs> with the true love of my life, Rosen Marine. <laughs> I'm leaving. No, I'm joking. It's a joke. <laughs> I'm sub. <laughs> There she is. I'll spend some time with her. Actually, I should probably eat bread before I do. <laughs> Fine, sure, lucky charm, sure, dear. Um. Happier. 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 Huh? I don't. I don't need to be infected by a parasite to give you guys kisses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't listening. Could you do it again? Fucking brats. This is why I don't do it. This is why I don't do it. Big brats. Brats. Bratty charms. That's what you are. Bratty charms.
arms. All right, I'll spend some time with Rose and Marie. <laughs> That's it. I'm not liking your next Twitter post. Too late. <laughs> Yeah, I saw similar to the Slayer series, which is identical in the universe. Yeah, the style is really, really neat. It's like old anime for sure. Mm. This best not take too long, Rosemary, and I have to work. And I can be away for long after that whole ordeal. Uh, I promise it'll be quick, Elise. <laughs> Come now, let me show you the attic. Oh, it's so cute and cozy. Mm. You settled in, huh? Hi. Of course, this is my new home after all. Getting a bit ahead of herself there, isn't she? Sleeping under a roof took some getting used to. I've been sleeping under the stars since I was little, you see. So good. You did say you're a traveler. Hi. Uh, yes. I used to travel about with my granny while she was still in good health. Where is she now, Rosmarine? <laughs> Come now, sit. Show me your hand, Elise. Okay. Rosmarine, wait. <gasps> ah, I see. Mm -hmm. You can possibly be reading my palm. She's crazy. She's crazy. She's crazy. I say don't stick pee pee in crazy. But I don't have a pee pee. <sighs> Stay put, Elise. I'm trying to make sense of it. I don't believe in any of this nonsense, Rosmarine. <laughs> As I thought, your lines are very telling of who you are. <laughs> who am I then? Obstinate? Ambitious? There's certain intuition within you that has yet to be awakened. What's that supposed to mean? Ah, both your fortune and your fate are very distinct, too. <laughs> You're destined for something great, aren't you, Elise? Mm. Destined for something great, you say? You're also stubborn, very set on your ways and your ambitions. Hmm. Look, Rosmarine, I don't know what you're withering on about, but I truly don't believe in any of this nonsense, all right? Uh, uh, ah, but before you go, Elise, I have something for you. Hmm. You're truly... What is it? No, I... Huh? What is it? No, I... What is it? Hi. Here, I want you to have this. <gasps> Cute! Oh, that's adorable! What in Lauren's name is this thing? I've told you before how I've seen you in my dreams and I... I made this bracelet just for you, knowing I'd find you. This Marina, I... You're my soulmate, Elise. Oh, God! Okay, she's very... She's being very, uh... Very direct about that. I finally realized. We hardly know each other, Rosmarine. <laughs> and I still don't know how to say your name properly. I've known you for a long time, in truth. Is this about what you said yesterday? It would mean a great deal to me if you kept it, Elise. Okay. I will. You did make it for me, after all. Well. That's... That's it, folks. She's our soulmate. You heard it. She is our soulmate. We share. We share, okay? We share. <laughs> we're in, boys, we're in. <laughs> Even so, Rosmarine, I... I know you don't believe any of this, Elise, but... I think you will, in time. Aww. I find myself believing it already, somehow. <laughs> Besides, you being my soulmate doesn't mean I am yours anyhow. Ah! 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 What do you mean? Huh? Things are just starting to change for you, Elise. Oh, I see. Just because she's giving me the bracelet doesn't mean I have to go for her route. Okay. In more ways than one, I'm certain you've noticed. Hmm. I suppose. It's true. First Rosemarine turned up, then I found these shoes, and... There was that old hag I met this morning, too. Even that strange dream I had. I wonder if that's also... Uh, uh, no. Say, Elise! Huh? <laughs> Won't you join me for a stroll tomorrow morning? Out at the crossroads, there's something I'd like to show you. <sighs> alright, alright. 
Come now, I ought to head back before the townsfolk lose their wits. Nice. Okay, so tomorrow we meet Rose and Marina at the Grass Rose. Don't forget, meet Lebkuchen at the bakery. Have dinner with Rose and Marine. Okay, I'm gonna go meet Lebkuchen first. She might give me another piece of bread. <laughs> So much for a Walpurgis protection. I had to have thrown you long ago. Okay. Is this different? Did it always look like this? It keeps changing between a horse and a, a woman. During the night, it's a horse. During the day, it's a woman. That's kind of weird. All right. What is happening here? Uh, have dinner with Rose and Marine. Okay, so that's what that is. Before I do that, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna talk with the. Uh... All right. She's with the goat. She's with the goat. Also, am I starving? A bit. I might I might buy some food on the way if she doesn't give me bread. Mm. Windmill at night? Oh yeah, frick, you're right. Wait, but the, does it say? Investigate in the notes you found. I don't think so. Yeah, see, it's still it's still closed up. Maybe I should come back some other day. It's gonna be some other day. Maybe you can do it with Rosemarine. Oh, maybe. Speaking of food, what? What about food? What time is it? <gasps> what the frick, it's already 10? Holy crap. Where did the time go? It's been five hours? <laughs> okay. And then we're gonna wrap it up. <laughs> oh man, we lost track of time completely. Don't you start, Lip Cohen. I'm not explaining myself again. My lips are sealed. You can stand there looking at me all you want. She's a rather sweet lass, I must say. <laughs> She's jealous. Lip Cohen, I know you, Elise. She's my cousin. There's nothing more to it. Why are you saying it like. Wait, are these two already promised to each other? Ah, oh, could you say that again? She's, um... You know... No, I don't know, Elise. That's why I'm asking. Uh, uh, now that we got that out of, the, out of the way, why don't you tell me who she is? She says she's a traveler. I found her hiding in my granary on Saturday. A traveler? I'm not convinced either, Lib, but I feel sorry for the poor lass. She says she'll be leaving right after the festival, so it's only temporary. What has she come here to do? She won't tell me much herself. I had no intention of bringing her to the Ke to Kiefberg, but she... graced us with her presence, I suppose. I had to think of something right then and then. There and then. Elise... I shouldn't be housing a stranger, let alone put myself in harm's way for her, but... 
I understand, Elise. I'll live. We got a heart! <laughs> we got a heart for... Okay. Uh, I also understand what you're telling me as a half-truth at best. Here's your bread. You let me know if you need more, won't you? Thanks. I trust you all the same, Elise. You don't have to help me, Leb, you know that. Yet here I am. Look at me, Elise. I do trust you. I need you to know that. Alright. Stay out of trouble now. I'll see you tomorrow. She's pulling up my heartstrings. I really, really like her. The fact that they're childhood friends is like... Mwah. I like her! I can't wait to go on her route. Oh, I wanna go on her route. I wanna go on her route, but... Focus! Focus on Rose and Marine! Focus! 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 Rose and Marine! Wow, Lev is such a nice girl. Probably should have dated her. You were gonna say that no matter which girl I dated. <laughs> no matter! No matter which girl I chose. You guys are gonna say that. So I'm just gonna come over here. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save here in the town. And... We're gonna have to call it there because it's been five hours. And I need to wrap up the stream. Because if I keep talking this loudly... I'm gonna get complaints. <laughs> Alright, so with the game saved... I'm gonna save twice for good measure because I remember what happened during Blasphemous. Again. Okay. Good. Alright, what? What? Let the coins fall. Uh... B... A V... Ah. Alright, you can make this first. Alright, here we are. Let me just... Let me just close the game. <laughs> Which pains me because I want to keep playing, but it's also getting very late and I need to be quieter. You know how it is. <clears throat> and let me... Uh, 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 let me, let me, let me just change the music to something like, something cozy, so I don't feel tempted to be too loud. Where's my, where's my music stuff? Where, where is it? Where'd it be? Where it at? Ah, here it is. Something like, something like that? Ah, there you go. Cozy music. Very nice. And also let me bring you guys' opacity all the way up again. There you go. <laughs> there, 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 there. So, how are you enjoying the game? How are you enjoying it? Yeah? <laughs> I could spend the whole day watching it. I could spend the whole day playing it. In fact, I'm, it's gonna pain me to end stream. And wait to play the game. I might do a gorilla. <laughs> I might do a gorilla, but don't worry, I'm finishing the game on stream, of course. I, I would not not finish the game that I started on stream off stream. <laughs> so yes, don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna continue the story. So if you enjoyed that, I hope you'll join us for uh, episode two. Mm -hmm. Not something I would play myself, but I love watching it. Mm -hmm. I <laughs> I love these sorts of games. I just feel terrible when there's like choices and characters that will get mad at me and characters that I have to choose over other characters. It makes me feel so bad. <laughs> I've been lur lurking while I work. Thanks for the stream, Fleo. Thank you, Nova. Thank you. Thank you so much for the tip. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> the visuals are vanilla wear tier in quality. What is vanilla wear? Vanilla wear? Is that a term that I've never. Hold up. Vanilla wear. Vanilla wear. They remind me a lot of Ghibli's art style, and I think it was one of the inspiration. Vanilla wear. It's a Japanese video game developer based in Osaka. Oh. Oh, okay. I don't think I've heard of it before, but seeing the screenshots, I can see... I can see the inspirations for sure. Um... They made Odin Sphere and Dragon's Crown. I see. Are these uh, are they boomer games? <laughs> They're probably boomer games because I've never heard of them. But the art style looks really neat. It's making me kind of want to play them. Ah, you guys know how much of a sucker I am for visuals, right? Kangaroo, thank you so much for the five gifted members. I really appreciate it. Enjoy the membership. 
Thank you. <laughs> they came out in the 2000s? All right, so boomer stuff. Gotcha. <laughs> mm -hmm. What are those games even about? I see... Are they also kind of like role-playing? Are they more fighting? Because I see a girl with a, with a sword. They seem to be kind of role-play-ish. Uh... I also came out in the early 2000s, you boomers. <laughs> Thank you for showing us this game. I will buy it, Shirley. Yes, I highly recommend you guys check out this game. It's on Steam. It came out on Halloween. And I'm so happy that it finally did. <laughs> Fuyo 2000 kids are millennials. Shh. Shh. Don't try to put logic on my words. That's like your worst mistake. Trying to put logic in my words when you know that I am the most tiniest brain leprechaun that you know. <laughs> mm, I hate these humors. Yet you're here. Yet you're here. Would you justify that, huh? Imagine this game but with Metroidvania combat. I think there's a game that has also very pretty visuals. It's kind of like a Metroidvania. You guys have told me about it. Um, it's... Uh, oh, frick, I forgot. Something Twilight? Rose in the Twilight? No? Frick, that's not the name. Ender Lilies! Yes, Ender Lilies. That's exactly the name. What? Rose in the Twilight? How is that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Ender Lilies. That's exactly the game I was thinking about. I got the name awfully wrong, though. <laughs> mm. You had the Rosen on the brain. I do, I do. <laughs> I think I've heard about it. Yes, it's, a, it's another game that I also want to play. But as soon as this came out, I just had to get my hands on it. I, I was talking to management and I was like... This game? I'm playing it on the 1st of November. But then 1st of November came and uh, I had to go out. And so I couldn't play it. So we're playing it on the 2nd. It's, you know, it's just as good. Thank you for the, 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 oh wait, this this came a little bit later. Ah I wonder I wonder if there's something I can do to fix the the notifications as well. Because they're always so delayed. Hmm Just be honest, you wanna watch Twilight, don't you? No. Not really, but my mom likes it. My mom really likes Twilight. <laughs> she watched it and then she gushed out to me about it, going like, oh Leo, there's vampires. <laughs> Leo, there's vampires and they're hot. <laughs> mm. Did you have fun going out and eating veggies? Yes, I did. I did. I did. Uh, I spent time with family. And it was overall very cozy. Mm. And uh, I, I'm glad that I did go. I was very sleepy. Though I'll be honest. I was very drowsy that day. Because I stayed up until like 7 a.m. Uh, working on the thing for uh, my cover with Rito. And then uh, I had to wake up at like 10 in the morning. So I slept like three hours. So then we went to my grandparents. We had lunch. <laughs> I have to force myself to stay awake. Then I think I fell asleep in my grandma's couch for a while. Woke up again. We went to have dinner. <laughs> um, and I kind of got home, crashed again. And it was quite, kind of a very, uh, uh, very gloomy day yesterday. In the couch, you're that small. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I had a weird dream on the couch. I had a nightmare. I dreamt that my uncle uh, had a pet crocodile. <laughs> a, pre a pet crocodile. And that I was trying... In my dream, I was trying to sleep. <laughs> I didn't really sleep very well in the couch, I'll be honest. I was trying to sleep in my dream, but I couldn't because I was worried of the crocodile about the crocodile that kept trying to bite my toes. <laughs> the tax uncle? No, 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 not that, though. not that uncle. Uh, the uncle that I dreamt of is an uncle that. Uh, all right, <laughs> this uncle once came over to our house, right, with uh. What is the female version of an uncle? With his wife. <laughs> aunt, yes. My un my uncle and my aunt once came over to like spend the night. Guys, I'm sorry. My brain, please. <laughs> ah! Uh, they, they once came over uh, and they spent the night. And uh, I, I remember waking up in the middle of the night with my uncle screaming out. Going like, well, 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 
it was I, I woke up I was scared <laughs> so um that that was that was kind of startling and uh, then I, I got up I went to the corridor my mom also got up and she turned to me she was like I think that's I think that's your uncle <laughs> I think I think he's having a nightmare oh yeah it was just it was just yelling out mm, and uh yeah I don't know I don't know how my uh, aunt sleeps. She was sleeping next to him. I don't know how. <laughs> ah, actually, they're called she uncles. Chat was wrong. Don't don't fool me like that. <laughs> she probably doesn't. Y yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I just remember I woke up in a panic. Hmm. Shunkles. <laughs> Shunkles for short. Is a shunk. You guys, you're trying to gaslight me. <laughs> that's not a... No way that's a thing. That's not a thing. No. Unclet. <laughs> that's not a thing. No, I can't convince me that's a thing. Are we? I don't believe it. I don't buy it. I don't buy it one bit. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. I hope you have a good night, Zofan. I hope you have a very, very good night. <laughs> you're a ESL. You can tell us if we're wrong. Raise your hand if you're also ESL. You can't lie to me. I want to see. I want to see how many lucky charms are ESL. You know what? In fact, I'm gonna make it a poll. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make it a poll. Are you ESL? Yes or no? <laughs> this is a very important poll. Very important poll. Lucky charms. To those who don't know, ESL is a uh, English second language. So is, is English your second language? Yes or no? <laughs> if you are, you have no business calling me out. <laughs> I am an ESL EOP. Wait, that's a thing? <laughs> Alright, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh wow, actually the percentage of VSLs is... 61 to 39. Actually, I wasn't expecting it to be like that. I expected I expected more of it to be na native English speakers. I don't know for some reason, because um apparently uh, according to YouTube statistics, most of my uh, subscribers I guess are um, American. So I don't know. I guess it's it's mostly because. Uh, of Idol being, you know, an inherently American targeted company. But I stream more for, I guess, American hours, right? <laughs> so I think it would make more sense to have more ESL. Mm -mm -mm. Your streaming times are very era friendly. Mm -mm -mm. That's what I'm saying. Yes. <laughs> Subscribers don't really reflect your regular viewers, to be fair. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Especially after all of the ad runnings and stuff like that, right? Mmm. Yes, we are all ESL and yet we still bully you because of it. You know what? That's fine. Because you have a reason to bully me. And <laughs> you're justified because you're literally just like me. So you're kind of projecting. So while you're bullying me, you're also bullying yourself. So I don't feel bad. <laughs> I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. Mm. According to YouTube statistics, at least 90% of you aren't even subscribed. I'll be honest, I don't really understand YouTube statistics. I, <laughs> I let management do that sort of thing. I, I don't... I'm, I'm way too lazy to check that stuff. <laughs> Sometimes I get curious and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm gonna see... Let me see. Um, country, countries that watch me the most. And that's, uh, that's as far as I go because I don't understand how YouTube works. I just kind of do my silly little streams, make videos occasionally, and I just forget about everything else. Mm. I am English. It's in my blood to judge people for not speaking my language properly while I am incapable of learning theirs. <laughs> Technically, Portuguese is my first language, but with some frickery with the consular, I stopped and now I only speak English. That's okay. That is That is quite relatable. I don't know. I feel like if I ever moved out, I'd probably only speak English for the most part. But since I'm, I'm, you know, I'm with my parents, I don't think I'm gonna stop speaking Portuguese, and I don't think I'm gonna unlearn it anytime soon. <laughs> it's too ingrained in my brain. 
But I still refuse to to talk Portuguese, to speak Portuguese on stream because I, I think I, I cringe at myself. And it, it's not it's not because Portuguese is exactly a cringe language, it's nothing like that. It's more so um I'm cringe. And I struggle to swap between languages and when I'm talking English I completely forget to speak Portuguese and it sounds cringe. It sounds cringe. If you are a Portuguese speaker and you've heard me talk Portuguese on stream, you know how cringe it can get. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Uh no 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 no. <laughs> As a Brazilian, I think your English is good. Your Portuguese though is very weird sounding. Well, that's because you're Brazilian. <laughs> I would still say that, that learning Portuguese stream for you would be better. You'd be better than any Duolingo. I gotta I gotta write down stuff to teach you guys. But like I don't really know what you guys want to learn. You know. What kinds of things do you want to learn to say in Portuguese? <laughs> do you know any Portuguese main VTubers? Curious what the market size for that is like. No, actually. I know some Brazilian ones that speak Brazilian on stream. But most Portuguese B VTubers that I know from Portugal, uh, they only speak English. I guess it's because it's such a niche. And uh, I doubt. I don't know if, you know, there would be much of a market for it. Because I feel like. Portuguese folk would mostly cringe at VTubers. Uh, we have a very... I don't know, our community is going to be a little bit weird. <laughs> so I feel like they would probably cringe at it. They'd be weirded out. Um, and that might be why a lot of Portuguese from Portugal VTubers don't really speak Portuguese. At least I, I, feel, like, I feel like... I don't know. I feel like I would not really be very welcome. I don't know. And also, I don't feel like I'm that funny in Portuguese anyway. <laughs> I already struggle with speaking in English, let alone Portuguese. I think I'd just be very embarrassed. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We are all cringe about VTubers too, but we still watch. That is true. That is true. I don't know. I would still like to try one day, you know, to try to speak Portuguese on stream and like maybe, maybe attempt some content in Portuguese, but I feel like it's so... I don't know. I feel like I'm a little bit late on that. I don't not not that I'm late because I don't think it's something that's been explored, but more so because I think there's already some very established Portuguese content creators, and it it would be very. And also, I'm just very comfortable with the community that I've built, especially in the English sphere. You know, mm. <clears throat> I don't think I don't think I'd like to leave that behind, and I know that speaking Portuguese would be leaving that behind. Mm. Besides, thing is, like, Portuguese speakers, most Portuguese speakers that would be watching VTubers, they can probably understand English. So, uh, if there's any Portuguese viewers out there, they probably know that I'm... What I'm saying, right? You know? Like, my little cousin, um, she's like, what, 12? Uh, and she she watches my stream. She, she says she understands me, and it, so it, I think it helps her with her English classes and whatnot. So, that makes me feel happy, you know? Mm. And besides, I don't know. I think I'm just used to it. I don't think I've created any content in Portuguese through all my time on the internet. I'm just used to it. Mm. I wonder if she watched you fight of eternal god. I hope not. <laughs> god, I hope not. I did tell her I was going to be playing this game today. Mm. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Yeah. Apparently, she's been watching some uh, horror game playthroughs, which really reminds me of myself when I was around her age. And it's, uh, it's really cute. It's really cute. Apparently, she's been watching this playthrough of Fears of Phantom, Fears of Phantom, uh, of a Brazilian YouTuber. And uh, she was watching it yesterday. And she showed it to me, and I was like, nah, I can't watch it. I, gotta, I wanna play it by myself. I can spoil myself. <laughs> but I told her that it looked like a really cool game. She seems to be enjoying it. Mm. <laughs> You've got a successor in the works? <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> As a Portuguese viewer, I do understand. That said, I feel like that isn't true for Brazilians at least. Brazilian speaking. Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure, for sure, for sure. Because I do know there's a couple of VTubers that speak Brazilian. Um, I follow a very cute Brazilian speaking VTuber on Twitter. Um, there's also, uh, Abby, but she speaks mostly English. Um, 
I forgot the name of the Brazilian VTuber that I follow on today, but if you follow me, you've probably seen me liking some of her posts. She's also an artist and she draws really cutely. Um, fears to fathom, Flea, not fears to fathom. Fathom, 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 fathom. Same thing! <laughs> Guys, please, <laughs> don't point it out. Let me be in the wrong. Ah, uh, good thing the kids nowadays still like playing slash watching horror games. Yeah, I don't know. It reminds me so much of when I was around her age, you know. Especially because she's become so uh, crazy for uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. It's like seeing seeing myself. I see myself in her. <laughs> and if you're watching this right now, mwah, I hope you have a good night. <laughs> Ah, Brazilian speaking is funny for us, huh? I don't know. I I know that a lot of like Portuguese YouTubers have a massive Brazilian viewership, which is a little bit, it's a little bit funny. <laughs> uh, but it makes sense because most people in Portugal, I guess, are old. They're old and gray. They don't watch no YouTube YouTubers. <laughs> so I guess if I spoke Portuguese. I'd probably be gearing more towards the Brazilian audience, right? Mm. But hey, hey, there is a possible chance that maybe, maybe Idol will make a Brazilian, Portuguese, Brazilian slash, you know, branch. And uh, if they ever do, I'm guessing that I would probably be more incentivated to speak more Portuguese, so yeah. Oh, my tummy is rumbling. Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear that? I don't know. Because even though, even though I'm like a little bit awkward at speaking Portuguese, I still feel like it's a market that could be touched, you know, like... I I just... I, I need a little bit of a push and also I, I don't want to completely do my content in Portuguese. Mm. Put your tummy next to the tummy! Wait, tummy next to the tummy? Tummy next to the mic. You know what? No! <laughs> no! I refuse! <laughs> You guys have been too spoiled during Halloween. It's time. It's time you guys. It's time you guys learn some discipline. <laughs> no, no, I refuse. No. Uh oh. <laughs> I spoiled you guys too much. Ha! Huh, how dare I? <laughs> ah, it's so hard to say no to you guys, but I gotta stand my ground. No. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Lucky charms. Lucky charms. Stop. Because if you cry... If you cry, you're gonna make me cry as well. Lucky Charms, you're gonna make me... It, she hates us. Lucky Charms hate me! Ooh, ooh, ooh. My stomach is rumbling. I need to eat dinner. I wonder what's for dinner tonight. We cry together. Ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> I'm crying while eating a cucumber. Ooh. Ooh. Eat the cucumber. Ooh. Eat the cucumber. Eat the cucumber. <laughs> cucumber. Cucumber for your losses. It's so big. Who's got a three incher now? <laughs> I'm so unfunny. <laughs> Oh man, for your cuz um right. I forget. I forget. Oh god, I forget. Oh god, I forget. It's probably not watching, right? Probably not. Really not. Really not. Probably not watching. Mm. Fuyo, that's called overcompensate. Okay. Sure, fine. Whatever. 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 I don't care. We <laughs> we stop. You stop. Should be in bed at this time? It's what, 10? I don't know. It's tomorrow? Wait, is today Friday? No, today's... Today's fifth day. I mean, Thursday. 
Fuya, do you have a scar on your left eye? It's makeup. It's makeup. I'm still wearing my Halloween outfit because I really, really liked it. So I really wanted to wear it for another day. <laughs> so if you're wondering, no, it's... Uh, I just haven't brushed my face yet. I mean, washed my face. I haven't washed my face since Halloween. <laughs> nah, this is all... This is all... This is all little temporary tattoos. Mm -hmm. High quality outfit. I know, right? It's probably one of the best ones I've done. Yeah. I think it looks really cute. Yeah. Also, I've got legs. Legs for days, baby. Legs for days. <laughs> mm. So you mean you haven't bathed since last month? I pledge the fifth. I pledge the fifth. I pledge the fifth. And if you ask me again, I've got a wooden sword and you're gonna have to talk to the sword. Talk to the sword. Frick. Talk to the sword. Lucky charms? Say one more word about it. And you'll have to fight me to the death. To the death! My sword! <laughs> now they're, they're making fun of the way I say sword. Because of course. <laughs> Wait. Enough comfy. I've had enough of the comfy. I've had enough. I have had enough. I have had absolutely enough. You! You are done for! Feel the wrath of my sword! Frick! Frick you! Break your buns! <laughs> I might be a cell, but I've got the power of a sword made out of wood! And you don't! <laughs> okay, actually, it's 10 p.m., almost 11. I need to shut the freak up. <laughs> I need to shut the freak up. <laughs> I need to shut up. <laughs> Before my mom comes in and starts yelling at me for being loud and like, 11 <laughs> I shut I shut my mouth Have you learned your lesson, Lucky Charms? Have you? Have you learned your lesson? <laughs> and to answer your question Of course, of course I love the Lucky Charms That's such a dumb question You freaking, you freaking freaks <laughs> I don't need I don't need a parasite to make me so extra lovey dovey to tell you guys that I appreciate you. I mean come on. I spend time with you guys almost every day. Alright? I stream for you guys on hours on end. Alright. <laughs> it might not be a crazy, crazy uh Halloween romance, whatever. But you guys are still in my heart, you bunch of dummies. <laughs> And I couldn't ask for a better community of Lucky Charms. <laughs> and uh, I'm just happy that you choose to watch me and to spend time with me. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I shut up now. I shut up. I guess you're okay, Fuyo. <laughs> I guess you guys are okay or something. Something like that. Something like that. Are you sure the parasite is gone? It, yes, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> it's completely gone. <laughs> Come on, now you're embarrassing us. Oh, am I? Am I? Are the lucky times getting embarrassed? Oh, are you embarrassed? Oh, can I not? Eh, so are you guys the only ones that are allowed to say nice words and praise me, huh? <laughs> you guys are the ones that put up with my with my bullcrap, okay? Come on, I, I threw I threw lore at you guys. <laughs> I basically did exposition on one of my Halloween streams that you just listened to me. <laughs> Blab on about random critters. <laughs> yeah, we kinda like you too. <laughs> Thank you. There you 
Yeah, I like getting lore dumped by you. By the way, weren't weren't the monsters cool? They were really cool, weren't they? They were so cool. <laughs> it, I it it <laughs> I wrote them all in succession, and uh, it was it was hard to come up with concepts. But once once the concepts were there, it just the brain brain went brrrt with like all of the writing and all of the lore. <laughs> They were honestly amazing. Yeah, which one was your favorite? Personally, um, I I think my favorite one that uh, that I wrote was the needle. It was the last one, the most dangerous one. I thought the the concept was really cool. <laughs> you like the strog? <laughs> Taking part in being infected was fun. I was so happy when I saw you guys playing along and changing your profile picture. And a little bit of immersion breaking right here, but I just. I really, really appreciate it when you guys play along and that was so much fun And it definitely would not have been the same If you guys were not so invested in it, you know, and if you guys weren't so into it I just, I really, 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 really appreciate it <laughs> You liked the whole, why? Because of course <laughs> We had a ton of fun too I am glad, I am glad, I am glad And because I, I because you guys like it so much, it makes me want to do more of these things and, you know... It motivates me to do more stuff and... Do even crazier and crazier stuff. Even though I don't- I don't see- I don't see any of what I did as anything special or out of the ordinary, but... It, it pushes me to do more stuff. I mean, you guys have definitely helped me become more confident with my singing. And because of that, I managed to, like... Put out, like, three covers this- this Halloween. And uh, that's just, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's my goal. It's my goal that I said on my debut that I want to get over my fear of singing, and I hope I get better and better too. Mm -mm -mm. And I might not be, you know, the best singer out there, but I think I'm having fun, and I am glad that I get to make stuff that is actually listenable to my ears. I kid you not, the friggin' the friggin' mixer that we got, mwah. <laughs> mwah. I'll get this mixer forever. They make me sound decent. <laughs> And Riddle? Riddle? Riddle's mixing is insane. I, I, I'll show you guys. I, I don't know if she wants me to show it publicly, but I'll probably show it on member stream. The raw vocals and how it sounded before she meddled with it. She's just insane. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Having fun is the most important part, in my opinion. Yes, I agree. I agree. And I'm glad I'm having so much fun. Hey, I'm new! Hi, new. I'm Fleo Cloverfield. What's up? <laughs> did we all get the same idea at the same time? Yes, we did, of course, because of course we did. Ah. <laughs> uh... Anyway, um, yeah, thank you, thank you for coming to the stream and watching me play a little goody two shoes. I'll keep up with the gameplay. If not tomorrow, actually, do I have anything tomorrow? Yes, I do. I think I, I already posted my schedule. It's on the YouTube community tab and it's also on my Twitter. Um, oh yeah, tomorrow I plan some chill karaoke at like four p.m. Depending on how long it takes, I might actually play a little bit more Little Goody Two Shoes afterwards. So, um, I'm not promising it, but there is a chance for Gorilla because I really want to keep playing again. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll just do some chill karaoke, and uh, yes, it will be the same songs I always sing. Deal with it. I don't care. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. Actually, there might be there might be a couple new ones that I haven't sung, but yeah. All right. Now we need a cure for your unfunny disease. Who would have thought it'll be contagious? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Get 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 infected by the unfunny. We shall now make dad jokes to everybody who hops on the stream. <laughs> get enormous PP ready for tomorrow. Of course. Of course. You guys know it. <laughs> mm. I can't believe you made your McDonald's family portrait your Twitter banner. Man, it's too good. It's too good. How could I not? <laughs> How could I not? It's, it's really nice. 
Mm, it's a tradition at this point. Yes, exactly. So no uh, reaching it tomorrow. No. You will never catch me karaoke that song. <laughs> never. Never. Unless I am completely out of my mind. Drunk. Or both. I don't think even if I get drunk, you'll be able to convince me. What if we say please? No. <laughs> no. No. Especially not on a public stream. Uh, no, pretty please. No, you can't convince me. No. What if we say which for you? No. 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 I don't even know what that song is anymore. I just know it's probably in Portuguese and you don't want to sing it. It's a very. It's a folk folk so folklore folk 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 song. Not not really folklore, but it's like a. Uh, it's a song. That is a metaphor to sucking on a woman's titties. <laughs> and they call the woman in the song Cabritinha, which is. Uh. Frick, what is the translation? Like a. A sheep? A little goat, yeah. A little goat. <laughs> yeah. It, it's. That's why I'm not singing it! That's why I'm not singing it! I'm not! I'm not! Folk- Portuguese folk songs are like, completely pest- fe fe festered. Pestered. That's not a word. Um, filled up with these sorts of things. And I, I'm not the biggest fan. I don't know. I might be ashamed to sing it. <laughs> Infested! There you go, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Herbie. Mmm. It, 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 it makes me think of that censored song on Coco. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe, maybe it's because I speak Portuguese. I, you know, even in English, I already struggled to sing those type, those types of songs. So in Portuguese, I guess it makes me extra flustered and extra. If it, it makes me feel achy, I don't know. I just, I'm used to seeing those song, songs being sung in a very, uh, uh pru. Pru pru rude rude way in a very I don't know not the biggest fan and I know they're just jokes and I know they but I don't know maybe it's just because I grew up with them in a weird atmosphere I don't really like them mm. do, 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 do. crude yeah crude it's very crude humor and yes it's just silly fun but I don't not the biggest fan not the biggest fan and sure I have a lot of crude humor on my streams but I don't know I guess it's just... I don't know why it makes me uncomfortable in particular and I don't get uncomfortable with anything. <laughs> it's, I, I can't explain it, really. And I, I don't know why. I don't know why it makes me so icky. Mm. But it is your crude humor, so it's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know. I couldn't explain it to you guys. Like, it's not that it makes me uncomfortable to listen to it, but, like, it's not something that I like listening to, you know? Mm, I get it. Same happens with some uh, similar songs in Spanish. It's way too crass. Mm, 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 mm. It's like how so many fairy tale original versions just normally go, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> something like that, something like that. Mm. It may be crude, but it's not as bad as. <laughs> oh God. Uh, the thing is, you know the best part. The best part is that my grandma loves that shit. She loves it. She just loves it. She lives for it. If I got my grandma on stream, which by the way, she would 100% accept. My grandma loves this kind of stuff. <laughs> she would 1000% be down to karaoke those songs. Maybe one day I'll be able to get her on stream and maybe then I'll be able to sing along. But besides that, probably not. <laughs> Bring her in for drunk karaoke. Are you kidding? She she drank some shots yesterday. And I was like, Grandma? <laughs> Grandma? Like one of my one of my uh family members, I don't I don't even remember who, brought a friggin' uh bottle of who knows what and my grandma was just drown, down drowning in that stuff and I was uh, <laughs> 
Your, your, your body. Be careful. <laughs> and before you ask, no, I didn't drink anything yesterday. I didn't. I was way too sleepy for that. Mm. Drunk grandma singing. She would sing it without being drunk. I'll be honest. Mm. Grandma took all the cool jeans. <laughs> She's shameless. Unless she's speaking in English, probably. I feel like she would be pretty shy if she was here, like, hearing me speak English. Also, I don't think she would kind of understand the concept of a stream. And also, she can't understand what you guys say, so I'd have to translate everything and, like, speak in Portuguese with her, too. Mm. And also, I'd have to be... Actually, no, that's that's a disaster. It's gonna be... It, it would be a disaster. She would... First of all, she would dox me. <laughs> she would dox herself. She would dox my grandma. She would dox my mom. <laughs> And then she'd be like, oops, is that a problem? <laughs> nah, you know what? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> she would dox my cat. She dox my school. She dox everything. <laughs> like, I trust my mom. But I'm thinking it's not a good idea to get my grandma in. Nah. <laughs> we get Portuguese Fuyo in chat with unhinged grandma. Sounds what? Nah. No. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Your viewers are so nice. You should invite them to our house at 123 Portugal Road, Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, that would be terrible. It would be it would be a disaster. Also, your dad. <laughs> My dad. I, I'm, oh, man. I realized just how dangerous it would be to get my family on stream. <laughs> My mom is the only one I would dare take on my stream. <laughs> Maybe my mom's brother too. I think it'd be quite funny too. He has some funny stories to tell. Like for example, um, there was this one time that uh, I think it was on the night before Halloween when he was a child. Um, he was running around with another cousin and uh, they had the bright idea of putting their trick-or-treating bags in their heads but while while my while the cousin had uh, a transparent bag my mom's brother had an opaque bag which led him to go face first into a door and just break his head open <laughs> and it was terrible and he has so many stories like this it's i think i'd like him to tell them on stream even though his, port his, his portuguese no his english is a bit broken i feel like it would be pretty funny <laughs> yeah, no, no. He, he, but the way he tells the story is so funny. <laughs> he's funny. Mm. Is he okay? No, no. He's broken his head like about five times, maybe more, something like that. And also, once uh, he uh, cut his toe with a uh, an axe. <laughs> Uh yeah. My 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 my, my family is a bit weird. Mm. Did that happen to you as well to end up like this? Is it a family thing? No, I I was pretty sheltered growing up. <clears throat> Random uncle lore when they drop stories about your dad and never knew about they're the best. Like my dad lived in Brazil at one point, what right? They'll just suddenly come up with the randomest stories and I'm like, what? How have I never heard about this? I, I didn't even know you went to war. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. <clears throat> I need water. Hold up. I haven't drank water once since the beginning of the stream. That's like five hours without water. Oh yeah, that one uncle I was talking about that did the, the screaming thing during the night. He went to war. Oh, that's my mom. She's calling me already for dinner. I told you guys I needed to go. <laughs> Yet I'm still blabbering on. But, uh, yeah. The the uncle that I was talking about earlier, um, he did go to war. Which is probably why he was, like, screaming like that. You know, it's probably some sort of, uh, thing that, you know, still haunts him. But he's such a cheerful person, you know? It's really, it's really insane. He's one of the most cheerful people in our family. And, uh, what he went through is like, yeah, crazy. <laughs> Maybe a flashback? I don't know. I don't know. 
He never talks about it. Well, he rarely talks about it. <laughs> I hope he's fine despite that. Yeah, he seems to be fine, you know? He's got a family that loves him. Uh, if anything, he needs a, a, a thing to hear better because he's starting to get a little bit deaf. But besides that, you know, I think, I think he's happy. Mm. All right, anyway, guys, I need to go. I need to go. My mom already called me. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna go eat and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow I've got some karaoke. And uh, possibly if I still have some time and I'm filling up to it, we'll probably keep playing some more little goody two shoes. So thank you so much for watching the first part. I'm sorry for blabbering on so much today. I just, uh, we went through a lot of lore stuff and, uh, you know, funky streams and I didn't quite get the chance to talk to you guys properly until now. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for coming and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Uh, and good night. Stay awesome. And, uh, oh yeah, freak wishes. Ah, but tomorrow's stream will be unarchived, so, uh, probably no wishes tomorrow. Because it's unarchived and it's, you know. <laughs> and then your wishes are gonna go to waste, and I don't wanna do that. So, um, I'm just gonna wish you guys a good night. A good night of sleep. And, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> bye bye. Good night. Let the coins fall. Baby. Mwah. Holy freak, Great, that was a long part. Of ball. We love you, BTW. He had to look for this link, and he shouldn't. Your description leprechaun, of course there's a asterisco asterisco and maros bat no streamlab is tsk tsk. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you, PW. Thank you so much. What the frick do you mean? Hold up. Uh, is there an RS but stream on this specific? Uh, Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, 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 because it's in the Streamlabs donation. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you have a good night. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs> I think my brain had a brain fart while I was reading the message. Anyway, I'm clearly starving. I'm gonna go eat. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, I don't have it. Wait, isn't the Streamlabs link in the description? <clears throat> Wait, it's not? Oh. Oh, I see! That's what you meant! Ah. Uh, oh, I'll update it. I uh, forget. Dude. Eh. My bad. My bad. But hey, it's so you don't have to throw money at me. <laughs> You don't have to throw money at me, so, uh, yeah. Get fricked, frickers. Ha! Get fricked. Actually, don't let my boss hear that. <laughs> don't let my boss hear that. Uh. Alright, setting up a raid, setting up the raid. Okay, focus, Puyo, focus. What?